on Reading Common on September 11th, 2016. My name is Kevin Vent. This is Katie Robertson. Hi, Kevin. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you doing, Katie? I'm great. Thank you. Yeah, it's uh, already been an, uh, a day here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, as everybody's getting ready to set up, the, the, the rain clouds open and it started pouring rain uh, for a few minutes and then it stopped for a little while and then it started pouring rain <laughs> again. Uh, but uh, the, the rain clouds have gone away and the sun looks like it's beginning to come out and yep. it's, it's going to be a beautiful day here. Yep, we've taken there. the tents off over us, so yep. we're uh, we're looking forward to a sunny afternoon for the rest of the day, hopefully. Be because we are just that brave. Yes. That's right. <laughs> we, we, we don't fear the rain at all. No. We know the rain isn't going to come. Laugh in the face of rain. So if you're at home <laughs> watching this, you know, you can come on down to the street for you, or you can just kind of see the highlights by watching on your TV here mm -hmm. today. So it's going to be a good day. Yeah, and it's already been a busy day. They've already had the 5K, I believe, yep. and, uh, and the uh, September 11th ceremony yep. has already happened. Which so. in a few minutes, I think we'll be bringing you that some of that ceremony, mm -hmm. at least some highlights from that ceremony. Uh, but uh, we just wanted to let you know that the Reading Fall Street Fair is in fact happening today and we're excited to be a part of it and, and we have lots of interesting things. The, the, both uh, uh, Main Street here down behind us and all the way down to Haven Street and all the way down Haven Street is full of booths and there are lots of different uh, activities going on. You can see kind of some bouncy houses behind us yes. here. <laughs> I, I probably won't be doing that but you're certainly I, free to. I mean, I've done it before. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> when I was 10. <laughs> I don't think it's that different. Oh, okay. All right, yeah. So definitely thanks for the kids to do it. Yes. That's Absolutely, the point. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and the booths will be open till five today, so yep. you've got plenty of time to come on down. It's just one o'clock now, and uh, and uh, there'll be food and uh, booths and uh, tons of things for the kids: face painting, yep. tattoos. Lots of different organizations yes. have booths where they kind of share with people who are coming by about their organization. Uh, some local Reading organizations as well as some Reading businesses. Mm -hmm. uh, we're hoping to have some food to test out today yes. from, from the many, many food locations that are available. Yes, and, and of course the pie eating contest. And the pie eating which contest. Is always a, a fan favorite. And my belief is uh, that RCTV is sponsoring the pie eating contest. And may in fact have an entrant <laughs> in may have the an pie eating contest. That's right. That's so well, yeah, I, I've, heard, I've heard rumors of <laughs> entrants heard in rumors. the pie eating contest. Right. Right, so who knows what's going to happen with that, but we look forward to that. That's always a big event, the uh, pie-eating contest, and, <laughs> and uh, you know, pie spread everywhere. And yeah. it's kind of, a, kind of a, a fun thing. So uh, we are here at uh, RCTV's main stage. Uh, we are up actually right on, at Town Hall. Uh, just to give everybody a ge geography lesson here, uh, <laughs> the, the Town Common is directly behind us. You can already see people pouring into the street fair, um, and uh, there are booths here. I know there's a, there's a uh, free flu shot. Yes, uh, clinic, clinic today yeah. for those who, who might uh, need or want that. Um, and uh, I don't know what else is going on. I, I'm, I think there's plenty of booths. Uh, I, I think uh, everyone is, is looking forward to a fun time at the fair. It's always a, a big event, and mm -hmm. I think now that the sun has come out, it, it was a little dicey this morning, but right. I think that we're, uh, we're looking forward to a, a regular fall street fair with, with a big turnout, hopefully. Yeah. And, um, and lots of people looking for a good time. Yeah, I know the turnout is measured in the thousands over the last mm -hmm. couple of years, uh, so I'm assuming that that's going to be the case again today. Yeah, and you can already see behind us there's yeah, lots of lots people of streaming. People here. The, there was you a can probably uh, hear some of the music behind us. Yeah, going there was as a well. band going on earlier. Playing many uh, exciting tunes. Yes, yeah. Disney, yeah, Rhapsody Disney and Blue. Tunes, Rhapsody they had, and Blue. Yeah. They did the uh, Star Spangled Banner and yeah. a couple of uh, patriotic tunes so we'll, earlier. Yeah, we'll bring that to you as well later. Yeah. yeah, we have some some footage of that going on a little later too. So lots of things happening here down at the street fair. But you know, so we're here live on TV, and you can certainly uh, uh, watch us and enjoy your <laughs> afternoon from the safety of your home. Uh, <laughs> but also, you know, feel free to come on down to the street fair and experience a little bit of it uh, for yourself if you're not there already. So, so. And for those of you who are watching us in repeats and reruns, well, you know, you missed it. <laughs> hopefully uh, you were here for the original. Hopefully you're here for the original. <laughs> and, and you're if, reliving. Yeah, and, and if, you, if you missed it, you can uh, show up next year. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, it normally happens this uh, weekend after uh, Labor Day. Yes. Um, every year. After. And I believe this is my third Fall Street Fair. Okay. I with this RCTV. Is, this is my fourth or my fifth with okay. RCTV, yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, we have a lot of fun, and we're hopefully going to have some guests we're going to interview today, and uh, we'll have some revolving hosts going on here, too, and yep. different people coming on. Uh, lots of things uh, going on here at the Reading Falls Street Fair. So um, at this point, uh, we just encourage you to come on down and enjoy it. Yeah, I think a lot of people did, yeah. yeah. You know, and then it was when the second one hit. 15 Thank minutes you. later, well, it's, uh, it was horrific. Mm -hmm. You know, it was such a beautiful day. There wasn't a cloud in that sky. Yeah. And even to this day, when I see days kind of like that, you know, with no clouds in the sky, I, I really, it brings to mind that yeah. that, that fateful day, 9-11. So they did a great job here. And I, I really have to thank the uh, town, the community, Bob Alasha, Brian Snell. 
Mm -hmm. And they're volunteers and organize. Yep. It's a great family event. It really mm -hmm. is. If I didn't have a wedding today, I would have my <laughs> grandchildren. <laughs> my grandchildren love the fall. It is a great thing for love kids. Absolutely. Yeah. I noticed you're wearing a badge. You uh, yes. spent some time in jail Did today. Do we need to be concerned? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, in the middle of a re-election campaign. <laughs> yeah. no, exactly. They and finally you're called really... up to a politician. <laughs> <laughs> they finally caught one of us. <laughs> no, I understand but, that's to help support understanding disabilities. Yes. Folks with developmental disabilities, right. and that was one of the reasons why, believe it or not, I ran for state representative at the time. I was on uh, the board of directors at New Path in Woburn mm -hmm. and very involved with EMARC here on Haven mm -hmm. Street uh, yep. with those. And that was one of the major reasons why I did run, to be honest with you. As a matter of fact, when I got elected, I actually had to uh, resign from the board of directors because I couldn't go in there. They, and I, that's a non-paying job, by the way. Right. <laughs> yeah. You know, so uh, I had to resign, but that certainly didn't keep me quiet from advocating for developmental mm -hmm. dis disabilities right. programs. I filed a lot of their legislation, and one of the proudest moments of my life uh, a couple of years back, uh, folks throughout the state, the folks with the Providers Council, that provide the programs and the money mm -hmm. and gave me the Legislative of the Year one. Mm -hmm. It was one of the proudest wow. moments I've had in my life. Yeah. But every year, you, uh, Understanding Disabilities has a, a booth here, which is a jail. Yeah, exactly. So do you want right. to talk a little bit about that? Well, I put the, I put the stripes <laughs> you on. the sticker on? <laughs> they wanted to put the uniform on, but it wouldn't fit around my girth <laughs> here. So I did the, the same, job, right? The same effect, <laughs> yeah. exactly. You know, the same effect. But it's great. They're doing well down there, and the young kids that are helping out too, putting little cups between the bars. Mm -hmm. You know, asking okay. for the money. Right. So they're doing great down great. there. So basically, you spend a little time in the jail, and someone has to parole Bail you, you, you out. Bail you out. Correct. <laughs> I, I put it on my Facebook, <laughs> and uh, I think they told me down there they generated some money. The folks are going to not be able to be here. Okay. And some folks that knew I was going to be jailed at a certain time came. Great, Friends great. of mine. I was worried about them <laughs> bailing me out, you know. So, but uh, they did very well. It's, it really is my pleasure to, sure. to to take part in not only the fair, but with right. folks with developmental disabilities. Because sure. my heart's there. Sure. Of course. So you uh, won the primary this week. You're running for re-election um, in November. Right. Uh, anything coming up in this legislative session that we want to maybe be aware of? Well, there was a lot of unfinished business last year. Mm -hmm. I mean... In just in my humble opinion, sure. too too much unfinished business. <laughs> if you understand what I'm saying, so there'll be some bills coming through uh, through through the committees. Hopefully, we'll get them out sometime after January when the new session starts. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a, a, a big turnover in the House of Representatives, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, so it's going to take those folks a little bit a while to get adjusted, right. get their committee assignments. But uh, yeah. I'm hoping that next session isn't the session that ends. Uh, yeah. okay, okay, it's the session that continues. Right. Yeah. So I'm really looking for a lot of uh, legislation to to really pass and come out to help folks. Is there anything in particular that you're you're being you're passionate about? Well coming up? I'm passionate about early education. Okay. okay. I was very, very disappointed that the governor uh, and and I get I think the governor's great and I think he's doing a good job. I disagree with him on on some issues. Mm -hmm. uh, and the house the House Speaker uh, kind of went along with it this time. They cut a lot of early education preschool, mm -hmm. and that, that hurt Ruben, the community, because mm -hmm. we have an all-day uh, free, you know, uh, sec uh, early education program. Yep. And uh, that, that funding cost us close to $175,000. Wow. So I'm hoping that that money is going to be restored at some point in time, maybe with a supplemental budget coming up. Okay. Because we can't, we can't afford to take that hit. Okay, yeah. But from my understanding, Wuben's going to have to fund it, but that comes out of their general budget. That's, mm -hmm. that's right. like a local aid cut. Yeah. You know, so hopefully it'll do, Wuben will do the right thing and continue the program, but it'll be make, they've got to take the budget from somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So where are they going to take it? Mm -hmm. They're going to take it from special education. They're going to take it from general uh, ed, general yeah. ed, that yeah. type of stuff. Yeah. You know, uh, enrichment programs. You know, right. these are all value, uh, you know, valuable programs, especially when, when you're ta talking with, early education yeah. mm -hmm. and kids that are just getting into school. Right. Yeah, it's right. a tough hit to take, that's sure, for sure. sure. Yeah. Well, we thank you for stopping by here today and it's thank you for at least coming around to the to the street fair. I know you have a wedding to get to yeah. today. Yeah. No, we appreciate you taking a moment and uh, sitting with us here at RCTV. Yeah, it's my pleasure, Kevin, and I wish you and your wife the very best, thank by the way. We're gonna <laughs> you're going to be missed <laughs> desperately around here, but I'm sure Phil Rushworth and <laughs> the folks at RCTV will, they will, will fill the carry line. on. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they'll bring me in as a secondary yeah. host of some sort. We're always looking for 
our volunteers. That's yeah. right. Absolutely. <laughs> well, thank you, Kevin. All right. Thanks Best for being you here, your family. Thank, thank you very thank much. You. Yeah, take care. Thank thanks you. for having me. All right. So that's uh, Representative Jim Dwyer here at the main stage at uh, RCTV. And we welcome you to the Reading Falls Street Fair. We understand we had a few uh, audio problems to start off, but uh, we're here now and we are covering the Reading Falls Street Fair live here today on yes. September 11th, 2016. As we mentioned when we were talking to Representative Dwyer, that uh, there is uh, some, uh, there was a parade earlier and kind of uh, a moment of silence and that kind of stuff and some, I guess some people talking apparently right. uh, Captain Dwyer from the fire department right. had some words to say and that kind of thing so it, it's, it's going to be a busy day here and a good day here as we uh, all do take a pause and remember uh, September 11th. Uh, so we're going to be back here in just a moment. I think we're going to some more live coverage down by the Bourbon Street stage so we'll be back here on the main stage of RCTV. You're watching the Reading Falls Street Fair on RCTV. stage for uh, Red the Reading Falls Street Fair and that was a good concert that was going on there and that was live in case you're wondering and as we're live here and now we're back and we're here with uh, Reading's town moderator and RCTV uh, volunteer as well <laughs> uh, Alan Folds uh, welcome to the Reading Falls Street Fair Alan oh thank you thank you very much good to be here so this is kind of a busy time because we have the street fair today and tomorrow night Monday night we have a special town meeting coming yeah, it's up. just one event after another one <laughs> event after another so maybe you could describe for me what is different about a special town meeting versus the regular annual or subsequent town meetings? Okay, we have what, two basically, two um, scheduled meetings a year. The April meeting is the official annual meeting. That's when mm -hmm. we handle the budget and whatever else comes up. And we always have a scheduled fall meeting in November. It's sure. called the subsequent meeting. But anytime selectmen feel that there's a need for something else to come up, they can call a special meeting or, in fact, any uh, uh, 200 uh, citizens as well. Okay. So, so this uh, particular uh, special town meeting that's coming up tomorrow night was called by the Board of Selectmen. Correct. Right. And they really can do it for any reason they choose, really. That's right. And uh, there's, I think we have eight articles officially on this warrant. A few of them are perfunctory. Right. Uh, the main uh, thrust of this is the, uh, the so-called circuit breaker. Right. It's a, a way for potential uh, tax breaks for seniors. Yeah. I think there are three articles on the warrant that have to deal with tax breaks for seniors, but one of them is kind of brand new. The other two is just adjusting something. Uh, but the other one is brand new, the circuit breaker. As Correct, you mentioned. right, yeah. right. Um, so so kind of what is the is the process then? Is a special town meeting called the selectmen have called a special town meeting? Warrants have been issued. What happens from that point? From then on, it's in the hands of the moderator, and it's, it acts, it's just like any other town meeting. Okay. We go through the warrant. We discuss everything on the warrant. No more, no less. Right, <laughs> right. So I know that uh, um, the eighth article is a little controversial, not so much in the in the content as much as in how it's been brought right. together. Right, it's more of a technical problem. Technical, than, technical right. problem, yeah. Uh, the town meeting is, of course, the legislative body, and we're there right. to vote on uh, legislative um, issues, issues uh, the, the uh, budget or any other bylaw changes or sure. whatever. Article 8 doesn't really fit into that category. It's mm -hmm. more of a report and a discussion on the upcoming uh, two-and-a-half override right. vote. Mm -hmm. As moderator, I felt it really did not belong in town meeting because town meeting has no official say. It's right. the Board of Selectmen call for the vote, and then the town as a whole on the ballot get to vote for right. it. But I also I, I have to stand by that to maintain the integrity of town meeting, the sure. technical integrity. But I did not want to get in the way of, um, of, a, of an honest discussion. Sure. And uh, it could have been handled under a... Um, a report at the beginning of town meeting. I was going to ask you what made the difference between yeah. the two. Yeah. The problem with that is reports are not debatable. They're okay. just reports. They're given. So there's no give and take. There's no questions allowed right. to be asked. So I talked with both the town manager and the chairman of the selectmen, and we came up with a way uh, more or less around it. We will call for a vote to indefinitely postpone anything under Article 8, which I have already ruled is out of order. Mm -hmm. But we will, as soon as we adjourn the town meeting, sine die, we will then go into what's effectively a public hearing, and we can have okay. a complete open discussion on what would have been in Article 8. Sure. My understanding is that most likely the Board of Selectmen will call themselves to order prior to town meeting, and then the Board of Selectmen will continue subsequent to the, to the adjournment of town meeting. That's correct. If technically, it would be a, a Selectmen's meeting after right. the uh, town meeting ends. Right. It's all sorts of technical yeah, issues yeah. there. <laughs> it's more complicated than it really is. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it more, more than complicated. it needs to be. Yeah. 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 Right. Ultimately, the point is is that uh, the selectmen wanted a forum to be able to discuss the, the, the override with, Correct. with the members of town meeting. And this gives the members of town meeting the option of leaving if they don't feel like they want to stay right. um, without 
abandoning their responsibility to be at a town meeting. Right. But it also gives them a chance to talk, which they wouldn't normally be able okay. to do under a report. Under a report. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. So you've been uh, walking around the street for a little bit today. Uh, kind of any thoughts about what's going on? Oh, well, my first stop always is Harrow's, so <laughs> <laughs> I got that out of the way. My pie. My pie, yeah. Right. It's a great day. We had a little bit of rain in the, uh, this morning. It's right. funny, on the way up, we were walking up. As the downpour came, we were going right by the, the Crook's house, so we okay. borrowed their uh, report. <laughs> <laughs> they well, didn't good. even know we were out there. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's helpful. And then, of course, you'll be here later today uh, hosting for hosting RCTV. Hosting down, down that end, yeah. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> right. Sweet, seat switching. Seat which switching, is what yeah. we've been yeah. doing that's all day. That's what we've been doing today. Before the music stops. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. Well, it's great to have you here today, and thank you for uh, uh, continuing to help out as a map moderator of the town of Reading. Oh, and, uh, thank you. 20 years, correct? One, this is my 20th year. 20, 20, 20 years, years yeah. yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Seems like yesterday. <laughs> 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 All right, well, we thank uh, Alan Folds, Reading Town Moderator, and RCTV volunteer extraordinaire yes. for uh, <laughs> coming and joining us here. We are uh, at uh, RCTV's main stage, right at Town Hall on uh, Reading Common here uh, with the Reading Falls Street Fair. Katie and I have been... Uh, Chatting about the, the street fair, and I was just wondering, Katie, kind of what's your favorite part of the street fair? Every year? Um, my favorite part uh, is I love to shop, so okay, I'm, a, I'm a shopper. So I'm gonna be walking around and and looking at. I actually, personally, I need to buy bowls for my apartment. Okay. So I'm gonna be trying to buy bowls today. <laughs> All right, buying bowls today at the street fair. Yep. I know that sometimes I know some there are businesses that yeah, have booths. Yeah, yeah, and sometimes there's, there's a, jewelry a pottery and, and pottery, yeah, yeah and that all kind kinds of, stuff. of things. Yeah, and small businesses, so. Right. I like supporting the small businesses. I'm all about the swag. Yeah, oh, well, that's... Totally into the swag. Yep. You know? Lots of uh, booths will give away free things over the course of the yep. day until you get into with all piles of junk yep. that you have to take home. I shouldn't say junk. Piles, piles of, of valuable material. Valuable free materials. Yes. Um, like backpacks and water bottles and water that you, bottles that you can never actually have enough of. You can of. never have enough water bottles. <laughs> that's absolutely Welcome back to RCTV's 2016 coverage of the Reading Ball Street Fair. I'm Katie Robertson, and I'm joined here by Bruce Cooper. Hi. Hi, nice Bruce. To see how you all. doing? <laughs> the sun just came out, so that's a good sign. Yes, it is. It's much more sunny than it was before. Um, so uh, what have you seen at the street fair so far? Have you done some walking around? Well, I uh, did a little bit of walking around, ran the tripod down to the... Uh, depot so that they could get the band coming oh, down great, the, great. the parade. Uh, but also just walked up the street and looked at uh, the various booths. A lot of politicians and lawyers and crafts and that kind of thing. Yeah, you know, so I haven't been able to get to get uh, around yet, yeah. so I'm Doesn't sure. Doesn't seem like there is as many booths as there oh, really? were last year. Maybe the weather is part of that, but I'm not sure. Okay. Well, and then there's, uh, of course, there's uh, bouncy houses behind us here and um, uh, kids activities and face painting and everything so if you're still uh, sitting at home and we appreciate that you're watching us but you can also come on down because it's uh, it's a little cooler now too which is nice um, and the sun is out uh, and we're here at uh, RCTV's booth on Town Hall which is looking at Main Street behind me which is a little different from our, our previous sets um, but uh, Bruce you have a show on RCTV yeah I, uh, I decided uh, to do a show of my own uh, it's called Highway 28 and my intent is to um, t touch on subjects of interest to the community okay. so I've been hung up on uh, food though for the per first four segments mm -hmm. uh, and specifically uh, the food revolution where um, there's a lot of people that would say a low carbohydrate high fat diet is more healthy for you, but uh, nutritionists and medical doctors and so forth haven't quite bought into that yet. But okay. uh, I've seen it work effectively to bring down uh, blood sugar for someone that's been diabetic, and I've lost 20 pounds on the diet. My Congratulations. Wife, my wife <laughs> has lost 20 pounds, so I, I think it's a healthy diet, and I'm trying to get the word out. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I do, the, the current show is on. Um, uh, cancer as a metabolic disease rather than um, all the genetic type of mm -hmm. research that's going on, but all the funding is going towards the genetic research. So I think there is a place for a different view and, and should be looked at. Yeah. And and we're, we're always trying to get the word out about RCTV. Anyone in the community can, can walk right in and become a member, uh, and then you can start making your own show. So if there's something that you're passionate about, uh, you, can, you can come on in and, and talk about it on TV. And it's, it's a really uh, great service to the community and, uh, and, a, and a great way to, to get uh, the community involved in uh, Yeah, in they, don't, they don't uh, just send you out to do a show. <laughs> they, they teach you how to use the camera. Yeah. 
I've had some help learning how to edit, and, and it's been very uh, rewarding to uh, learn that stuff. Um, I, I was looking at the website today, and there's a just a, a vast quantity of um, videos out there, you know, Reading Tales and Delicious Simplicity yeah. and all sorts of government meetings, and it's, it's really a fantastic uh, service that I think RCTV provides to the community, yeah. uh, covering all the uh, different town meetings and, and shows and that kind of thing. Absolutely. Uh, is this your first time hosting at the Street Fair? Yeah, it yeah. probably shows, right? <laughs> no, of course not, no. <laughs> Believe me, my first time, uh, actually my first show at, for RCTV was the Street Fair, and I was a, a nervous wreck. It was a yeah. mess. Yeah, was that, yeah. <laughs> But um, but welcome. It's well, it's I'm not pretty nervous, easy once you're but here. I, I I do feel uh, the need to maybe learn how to do this. Better, <laughs> you know, e even even uh, taping a short introduction to the videos I've been showing on my show, you realize how hard that is for for people to do. It, it's not that easy to just uh, uh, say what you want to say. You mm -hmm. you keep interrupting yourself or getting caught up in words and just like I'm doing right <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> but it's uh, like you said, RCTV really helps you uh, set up the cameras and, yeah. and really helps you uh, move through the process yep. successfully. Have so you ever done a show of your own? I haven't done. Uh, no, I've, I've done um, lots of the live shows and um, kind of the other organization. Oh yeah, you're, you're on Kevin's uh, government stuff. Oh yeah, show, I, and right? I was, I've been on picture. Kevin's show, Kevin's sports show because I can talk about the Red Sox for a really long time. You know so Patriot stuff too? I do, yeah, and I'm looking forward to tonight, <laughs> 8 30. It's going to yeah, be good. That, that should be interesting, yeah. yes. The Sox are playing <laughs> now, actually, but um, oh. yeah, the Patriots will start at 8 30, which I think is helpful for us at the fair because people aren't going to be home and watching right, right. them right now, so, so that's helpful. <laughs> people, you have no excuse to yeah. not come down here and, and uh, take in all the activities. It's, yep. a, it's a great afternoon. The, the weather's really turned for the, the better. Yeah. And there's lots of, uh, you know, food vendors and uh, kids programs. And um, the, we've mentioned the pie eating contest before, but I'll just mention it again because it's going to be a great event. And, um, and uh, the rest of the fall activities here. So it's, it's a good day. Um, have you listened to any of the concerts? Well, I was uh, doing the editing for the first uh, group on the stage. Mm -hmm. um, so I was able to listen to that um, and felt the pressure of editing for the first <laughs> time so it isn't as hard as I thought it would be but well, that's it, good but you have to make sure your cameramen are keep on the subject you know uh, because sometimes they wander you know so it, it's that's the challenge I think in editing is, yeah. is uh, making sure the camera guy so that was another great concert down at the Woburn Street stage that we have here set up at the RCTV's coverage of the 2016 Fall Street Fair. Uh, Bruce and I are joined by Will Myers, who uh, is an Eagle, Stout, Eagle Scout candidate. Uh, thanks for coming out, Will. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so I know that the Boy Scouts were here early this morning uh, helping yes, set we up were. stuff. <laughs> yeah, we uh, about a group of 20 of us got here at six seven o'clock in the morning oh my goodness right and early <laughs> before before the rain started that's good and uh came around helping people that needed help setting up their stuff there's a lot of uh tents that the town provides and those we actually pull out of a truck and set up for them and leave them in the designated spot so that was a lot of fun that's and good yeah it's that's always great. good helping people that are happy to get your help yeah of course and uh, so you're at troop 702 correct yes, and you're are. going Out for of your old south oh okay great right here. um and so you're going for your eagle scout this yeah, year i got a lot of paperwork to do but <laughs> that's really it i've done all the other requirements so what so. was your project my project was uh we installed red reflective bands i don't know if you've seen them around oh, seen those, yeah. in Reading. those uh those are there to uh help with the location of fire hydrants oh so if you, you'll see on them there's a there's a little number on the back and that number is actually placed on the band pointing towards the oh, okay. pole, and it's the distance in feet. I, I was guessing it was something yeah. to do with the Verizon boxes or no, something. No, 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 that's, that's <laughs> Much more helpful than <laughs> that, yeah. yeah. So we did the, like, northwest quadrant of the town. Okay. There's still a lot to do. There's actually over 800 fire hydrants in the town of Reading. Wow. wow. Which we did 250 of them, so it was a pretty big chunk. Great. It took a whole day. Yeah. Lots organized into groups of four where you have the adult driver and then three scouts, and you go around. And I gave each person like a map that has the uh, which ones I wanted them to do. So I spread them out mm -hmm. equally. Well, that's good. Wow. Yeah. So be, make it, it as efficient as possible. Yeah. <laughs> yes. um, so uh, what do you have coming up? Coming up? 
for the Boy Scouts? Is there any projects uh, coming up? We, or? Just, we just started our, uh, the Boy Scouts meet every, or our troop meets every Thursday that school is in session. So we just had two meetings so mm -hmm. far. So uh, happy to get that rolling again. Uh, our next troop meeting, we're actually pretty happy. We're actually going to go play uh, Ultimate Frisbee in Memorial Park, which uh, normally we just meet in the basement of the church. <laughs> but upgrade. Should be good. So we, we do. We normally play a game the uh, the adults versus all the kids, mm -hmm. and somehow the adults always win. Uh, but it's like they're way outnumbered. <laughs> so you got to take them down this year. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and what do you have so. going on? Uh, anything else? Uh, that you want to talk about for the Boy Scouts? Uh, we go on uh, one trip every month. Uh, next weekend, actually, we're going up to a place in Henniker, New Hampshire, where uh, we're going to help uh, one of the uh, dads in our troop. He actually owns 42, laker, er, 42 acres of land up in New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. And with the, when you have that land, you also need to maintain it. So we thought it would be a good uh, school, uh, troop trip to actually go up there, camp, and learn about the forest and that sort of thing. Oh, that's great, yeah. So. Do you have to help break down everything at the end of the uh, day? That is also something that we <laughs> volunteer to do. So everyone that we help set up, we yeah. help take down. Yeah, so. that's, a that's a lot of work. It's always good to do a good thing for other people. Yeah. Well, and you get to see a sneak peek of the fair, too, which yes. is nice. Yeah. <laughs> yep. um, so does your troop have a booth here today? Uh, we do not, actually. No? We okay. We're roaming around. We uh, just did a uh, just did a turn in the understanding disabilities. Oh, good. Jail. Yeah. So that was fun. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> always a good yes. project. Yeah. So we've just been roaming around. Great. Well, uh, you you're here. Uh, that was my interview and and with Bruce of Will Myers for from Troop 702 out of Old South Church. He's going for his Eagle Scout. Congratulations yes, and good you. luck with the paperwork. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and we're going to take a quick break and you'll be back uh, with the RCTV's coverage of the 2016 Reading Falls Street Fair in just a minute. We have Jason Lewis with us uh, here. He's uh, up for re-election for state senate, and I think he has a few things he wants to say. Well, thank you, and uh, great to be with you both, and uh, say hi, hi to everyone uh, at home and uh, here at the Fall Street Fair today. It, uh, we're very fortunate the weather seems to have cooperated, uh, <laughs> and uh, we were, avoided any uh, thunderstorms. But I, I did want to mention um, how um, impressed I was um, by the um, the town having a 9/11 um, parade and, and um, commemoration yeah, it's, today. It's, you know, it was. Um, it's hard to believe it, it's been 15 years. 15 years, years you know, already, but, uh, and yeah. you know, there are some uh, ceremonies that are happening. You know, in Boston, but I don't think there's very many other uh, communities that yeah. took the initiative. You know, to have a, a commemoration, and it's so important. It's been 15 years, but. The memory is still so um, is still so vivid. Yeah, we were know? talking earlier about how I'm sure all of us remember where we were uh, when uh, when we heard the news about the towers and yeah, so forth. Absolutely. Yeah. But um, it was also uh, was in, uh, when I was preparing for the commemoration and what I wanted to say, um, I realized that this year's freshman class at Reading High School in all of our high schools. We're not. We're born oh, after yeah. nine I know. eleven. Isn't that <laughs> so, amazing? You know, you already have uh, a generation now who's going to learn about it in uh, by reading. You know, in the history books and reading. It certainly won't uh, be as real as it, it was for yeah, uh, anybody for, that can remember that's it. That's right. Yeah. So I think it's it's so important that they continue to hear directly. You know, from um, families who lost right. loved ones, from first responders who were there, and 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 all of us. You know, what happened that day. Right. And, and, uh, terrible tragedy and then how we came together I think as a nation you know in a way that you know we uh, we sometimes forget today when uh, yeah you know, sometimes things are uh, rather yeah, there was a piece rancorous. in the globe about that today mm -hmm. about how people were so friendly and nice and helpful back when it first happened and it. not so much anymore you know I so know. I know. Yeah. right well you know we go back to our, our <laughs> corners so to speak yeah. but I think and this is what I said in my remarks earlier you know the things that unite us as as Americans are, I think, so much stronger and more profound than any differences we have. Yeah, um, that's true. So it's just we have to remind ourselves, you know, of that because sometimes I think we get we, we lose sight of that. And 9/11 certainly reminded us of that. Yeah. So you're up for re-election. Uh, I think I saw your name on a ballot somewhere recently. There weren't very many people that were actually 
in the uh, voting place when I was there. I think I may have been like one of two. <laughs> well, thank you for voting. That was, I think that you're referring to the uh, primary election. Yes, the primary. Which uh, we, j we just had uh, yeah. yes, uh, yeah, last week. Right. Yeah, so uh, uh, the uh, general election is coming up in November. Right. Uh, and I, I hope more people will come out and vote uh, in November. It's, uh, oh, I'm we, sure. That we we'll just be. talked about 9-11, <laughs> and that's one of the things that yep. is we sh we, uh, we uh, unites us is, is our right. democracy, and, and, and I think it's one of our very important responsibilities to vote. So I, 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 I hope and expect more You're, you're also providing some vote. leadership in the state on the opiate, opiate crisis and marijuana legislation. Yes. Um, one of, um, uh, I chair the um, Public Health Committee for the State Senate, so one of our main priorities has been trying to improve prevention and treatment and uh, recovery for individuals and families that are, are struggling with this terrible epidemic, you know, the okay. opioid and heroin epidemic. And we're, we're okay. the good news is we are making some progress there. I think we're working very hard okay. on it. Okay, good. Um, anything else you want to talk about, Jason? Um, we do have, you mentioned uh, marijuana as oh, well. Oh, yeah, okay. And uh, one of the other uh, responsibilities I have is I chair a special Senate committee on marijuana because we've been anticipating that there might be a ballot question in November. So in addition to voting for president and uh, for legislative offices, we're also going to be voting on four different ballot questions. And I okay. encourage uh, folks to take the time to educate themselves. But question four is about legalizing uh, recreational marijuana and allowing right. the marijuana industry to set up shop in Massachusetts. And uh, um, and I have deep concerns about there that. There seems uh, to be some controversy mm -hmm. in uh, Colorado now about uh, what they did to themselves mm -hmm. and how it might be impacting uh, their social structure there. Mm -hmm. you know? Yes, they were uh, the first state to legalize it, marijuana, for recreational use. So we're not talking about right. medical right. here because we already have a medical yep. program. Right. And they are seeing a lot of uh, challenges with that. They're seeing a very thriving black market that's continued. They've s seen challenges with edibles like marijuana candy and chocolates yep. and sodas mm -hmm. that, you know, people don't always know have marijuana in them that very appealing to kids, for example, and people driving while they're high. And, um, and we don't have uh, a way to test for that, like a breathalyzer for alcohol. So there's some very significant challenges. And uh, I think that's why, um, you know, my view is that we'd be better off waiting and learn from other states and uh, go a little slower. And I, I, I hope question four, you know, is not successful in November. Yeah. Uh, so did we send a delegation to Colorado? Yes, I actually did? led that. Did, uh, did? Oh, okay. Yes, that's right. So in, in my role leading the special okay. committee, um, we, uh, a group of senators, um, both Democrats and Republicans and from all over the state, there was nine of us in total, went out and spent about a week in I Colorado. So, yeah. Yeah. And it was very um, helpful, you know, because we saw firsthand what the industry is doing there. And there's, you know, there's more pot shops in Colorado now than there's McDonald's and Starbucks combined. <laughs> so they're everywhere. We talked to state government officials. We talked to people in Denver. We talked to law enforcement. And we, you know, Did really Did you got get the sense that it's it. a problem or uh, in Colorado or? You know, they're struggling hard to make it work. Oh, um, okay. I mean, and I give them a lot of credit for, for the law enforcement and the yeah. you know, municipal government officials for, for trying very hard. But it's very challenging. You know, the industry, is already a, a, a five billion dollar uh, in marijuana industry, and you know they, they their goal is to sell more uh, pot and uh, yeah. their uh, and and make money. Um, so they are introducing uh, all kinds of new edible products, and uh, the potency is is very very high. It's 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 very different than it was in the 1960s or 70s or 80s. It's a much stronger drug, um, and we um, and I don't think we're completely we're ready for it. You know, yep. in terms of. Uh, um, how to regulate it, how to deal with driving, um, you know, just having even the basic data to help us understand, you know, what's happening in our communities. So okay. my main takeaway was um, let's go slow, you know, let's learn from their experience, let's learn from Washington State, which is another state, and we let's focus on getting our medical marijuana program, uh, you know, working properly. So you're not really saying that you'd never legalize it, you were just saying this question on this ballot is not the right. Exactly what I'm saying. That's right. I'm not okay. personally yep. philosophically opposed to, right. to to the legalization. I know, understand. You know, there are adults who use marijuana. That's not going away. But this particular ballot question 
that you know we'll be voting on is twenty four pages long and i think it's the the wrong approach at the at the wrong time you know yep. we should go slow we shouldn't be allowing all of these edible products like candies and, and cookies and sodas that are you know a, at, a risk for our kids we shouldn't be allowing people to grow thousands of dollars of marijuana at home you know even against do you the feel the neighbors and that's all in this ballot do you feel what's happened in Colorado has freed up uh, law enforcement somewhat to focus on other things because they're not as focused on Unfortunately, marijuana? Unfortunately, although that's the perception, that's not actually the case because since marijuana is already decriminalized in Colorado and here in Massachusetts, our police law enforcement doesn't really spend much oh, okay. time at all. Yeah. You all know, right. they, 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 we, in, Ma in Massachusetts, you know, if you possess uh, up to an ounce of marijuana, it's just a civil violation. Okay. It's like a speeding yeah. ticket. Yeah. So police officers don't bother with that. I see. And okay. they focus on large scale trafficking um, of uh, things like heroin and cocaine. And so what's happening in Colorado now, because they allow people to grow it at home, like we're, like this ballot question would, you have a lot of people using that cover to grow um, illegally at home uh, and uh, and supply the black market because it's so profitable. So that's actually causing some new problems for, for law enforcement. Okay. And, uh, and people also now setting up shop in Colorado, sometimes even uh, gangs and cartels from other places and then smuggling across state lines, you know, into other states. So that would be a problem in, in Massachusetts yep. as well, I think. Okay. Well, we thank you for uh, stopping by today yeah, and, and sharing your views. Um, I understand you have to head on to w Melrose for their, uh, what was it, a Victorian uh, that's fair? Right. It's the, the, uh, their Victorian fair. You've got to six be towns the that day, you yes. cover, so your loyalties have, are spread a little bit. They're like all like my children. <laughs> yep. I can't play favorites. Right? I think uh, we have the actually the 9-11 the ceremony uh, ready to go, so oh, okay. I think we'll uh, yeah. have have Phil take that and uh, show it for us now. Yeah, very I really good. appreciated your remarks this morning, oh, too, at well, the ceremony. Uh, thank you very much. That. It was an it was honor to be nice. part of the, the ceremony. Yeah, I thought it was mm. very well done. It was very well done, indeed. Yeah. I will never forget the true American spirit I witnessed at Ground Zero and in the weeks following. Reading firefighters, firefighters attended many funerals in the aftermath of the attacks to honor our 343 fallen brothers and their families, as did fire and police departments across our great country. seems to be 15 long years ago, our country changed by one of the darkest moments in our nation's history. We were faced with tragedy, uncertainty, questions about who and why this would happen. People across the world wondered how Americans would respond. I will never forget the true American spirit I witnessed at Ground Zero and in the weeks following. Reading firefighter, firefighters attended many funerals in the aftermath of the attacks to honor our 343 fallen brothers and their families, as did fire and police departments across our great country. So we're back at the anchor desk. Uh, that was a very nice ceremony that uh, was conducted in Reading. Uh, we have with us Diane Wilson of the Reading Antiquarian Society, and um, she has some things she wants to talk about. Thanks so, so much. <laughs> well, we're really excited to be here at, um, at the Fall Fair. Um, the Reading Antiquarian Society is a group of Reading residents who are um, devoted to increasing awareness about our town's history and maintaining historical um, 
artifacts and also running the Parker Tavern, which is our, um, I think, our town treasure. The Parker Tavern, it was built in 1694. It's available for the public to come and tour. It's a great example of 17th and 18th century architecture. Um, we hope that people will stop by and see. So that's really what we're here for today is to kind of encourage them to come down. Is it open out. today? It and is open today. So we're doing tours from 12 to 5. That's great. It's adjacent to Washington Park. And if you stop in, you'll actually get to see an exhibit, which includes a cannonball that we recently acquired, which we believe was, the, the provenance suggests that it was part of Redding's participation on April 19, 1775. Wow, that's pretty good. So if you yeah. stop yeah. in and take a look, um, Everett Blodgett is down there. He'd be more than happy to tell everyone um, the story of the cannonball and the history, as well as show them around the tavern. That's great. That's great. And, and um, what other activities do you, does the Antiquarian Society generally get involved with? Sure. Oh. Well, our mission is to make sure that people are aware of the history of the town as well as um, historical practices. So we, uh, in addition to doing colonial reenactments on the grounds, do exhibits on quilting. We've done um, gravestone tours. We've also done um, morning jewelry lectures where people can learn about bringing a piece and learn about the history of morning jewelry. Um, and really we're looking to continue that programming. In addition to the things that we do throughout the course of the year, for a very, very long time we've been responsible for doing the third grade academic tours. Oh, so yeah. uh, almost every, I want to say every child, but I've met quite a few people my age who say, I remember going to the Parker Tavern when I was in third grade. So it's been a long-standing tradition here in town when you um, are in third grade and learning about your town's history that you come to the tavern and you get a chance to experience it firsthand. That's great. Yes. How did you become involved with the uh, Parker Tavern? So um, I am a lifetime Reading resident with a small hiatus when I was first married. Oh. Um, my father was very in active in colonial reenactment during the bicentennial. Um, and then continued on with Reading Minutemen and Militia and then the uh, artillery. Restored the cannon that had been at Parker Tavern um, in the basement for many, many years. And he and his team took it out and, and toured around the state with it. Um, and it's now back on the grounds at the Parker Tavern in, a, in its own shed where you can kind of go in and see a example of a cannon that would have been used in warfare. Um, so it just stayed with me when I came yeah. back to town. Um, this, I of course, to is the famous Charlie Peacock yeah. that she speaks <laughs> of. Yes, for sure. But there are a great many men that, that, yeah. that I got to know. Bruce Morang, who in, okay. in his book, The Town That Went to War. Um, so that's all part of you know my upbringing. Um, but more importantly, now here is, is a resident of Reading again for almost 20 years now on the second on my second stint. Um, just making sure that we're good stewards of what we have. And, and so many people don't realize that the Parker Tavern isn't owned by the town. It's actually privately owned by the Antiquarian Society. It's maintained by the Antiquarian Society. So yeah. membership and contributions um, that we receive through, through the public are really what help what? us. So, you know, we'd love for people to come down and see how they this might be able to participate. Okay. That's okay. great. Okay. Um, well, I'm, I'm ashamed to admit it, but I've been here since 84 and I've never been to the Parker Tavern, so <laughs> oh. it's definitely something that it I'm is going to put treat. on my to-do list. It is a treat. It's, a treat. Uh, it's open until uh, Sundays, 12 to 5, until the end of October. Okay. It's not heated, so yep. as we go into the winter, it will close. I, I actually met a couple that was on uh, Haven Street earlier today. They said, we've lived here 40 years and we've never <laughs> been to the tavern, so you've still got a little oh. bit of time. <laughs> okay. Well, thank so, you very much. Thank you for, for having me. Thanks for coming on. by, Diane. Nice to see you. Well, welcome back. This is, uh, we're at the Reading Street Fair. Uh, my name is Alan Foles, and I'm here with... I'm Ace Foles. And I think it's the first time we've seen each other all day. <laughs> we're, uh, <laughs> we've both been running off doing various errands. It's, uh, it's been uh, kind of tough to move around down there. Have you I been know. on Haven Street? I know, but there's a lot to see. It sure is. Well, we've got some uh, samples from, he from some of the, um, the vendors. Want to talk yeah, a little bit about dog, it? Yeah, triple dog, dear you. <laughs> triple dog, dear <laughs> What's the first one over here? We have um, something called stacked protein pancakes, where you can eat strong. Eat strong, uh, wow. They've, uh, they're nutritious and have 25 grams of protein in them. Are you going to try one? 
All right. Okay. All right. Let me try one too, and we can compare. They look like little pancakes. Hey, they're not bad. Pretty good. I would agree. Sounds pretty yeah. good. All right. All right. What else have we got here? Now, I met this. This group was called Hills. I think they're a frozen food supplier. Hills Home Market. We yep. bring supermarket to you. So they can, you can fill up your freezer with enough food for, I don't know, a, an army. An army. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think I'll skip that. You're going to, well, I'm going to have to try it then. All right. What are we eating? Do you know exactly? These are chicken sausages. Chicken sounds good to me. All right. But the weather is great I, after that little bit of a scare. We I almost think. got caught in it on the way up. We had to actually commandeer a neighbor's porch to get out <laughs> of that crazy rain. But it's beautiful now. It's beautiful so now. So come on. Come on down. Come down. It's fun. Um, all right. Well, let's move on to dessert. Okay. <laughs> all right. I'm, a, I'm game for that. Straight from Subway. We have the takeout menu here. And of course, Subway is down on. It looks on. pretty busy out in front of that shop. Is there a stand right out in front of the, sh the shop? Yes. I think it is down yes. in Haven Street, right the top of, of Haven there, Street. Right in front of their shop. Well, I think we can split one here. What, okay. What, what do you think? All right. Okay. We'll share the calories. Share the calories. Doesn't count if you share okay. them, right? There you go. Okay, you can have the bigger half. <laughs> oh, that's the best of all. Mm. Well, I'd have to agree, but it's hardly fair to compare chocolate with everything else. I right? know. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. I think we have something on the, uh, the ground down here, too. <laughs> This is from Professor's Market. It's a new little shop uh, on uh, Main Street, just south of the square. If you haven't been there yet, it's a great little place. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. Obviously, this is carrot. Hummus. Oh, it's hummus. Hummus. Homemade, and they make. I talked to the manager and chef there, and she said they make everything, including the hummus, on the premises. It's all fresh. Yeah, I've gotten a few things there. There's some of the chicken salad yeah. and a couple of other things, yeah. and it's it's really good. It's nice to have a place they like that. They make fresh homemade pasta. Homemade haven't pasta. tried that yet. We'll have to do that. Well, are you going to try the hummus? No. You're not really a hummus <laughs> person. <laughs> not a hummus person. Well, then I'm going to try it. <laughs> okay. You're such a good sport. Good? Very good. Very good. You can tell it's homemade. Really, it's not, yeah. um, not prepackaged. Yeah. So what else have you gotten to see uh, or at well, the fair this time? I've been to both music stages. Uh, we can hear one right behind us now. And yeah. Right down at the Sounds end of Haven good. Street. That's uh, another great place to go and watch. Of course, the day started with the, uh, the September that, 11th. Oh, uh, that was great. Very that was moving, a very, 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 uh, very well done tribute. Well done, yeah. Thought the so. The Reading yeah. Community Singers were um, a big part of that. Yeah. Along with uh, several town and state officials. It was uh, very moving. Very with moving story. Actually, I somebody know. from our fire department who was down there helping out on that day. I had not realized that before. Yeah. He heard the call back when uh, when uh, volunteers were needed right at the time, and he headed down there. He says it's a life-changing experience. I imagine it would be. Yeah. I saw the uh, yeah. Understanding Handicap, Understanding Disabilities jail was filled oh, up. Oh, yeah. was it yeah. packed? <laughs> yeah. We, Did you bail anyone out? Yeah, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> And we've been there, too. We've been in the jail the past years. I know it. Oh, uh, what else? A lot of the sports groups have got uh, booths. Um. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I um, talked to one youngster that was um, uh, with a robotics team. Oh, yeah. That yeah. sounded interesting. Yeah, what that sounded It's a great program. What was and that all about? They've really, um, they've, they've won some great awards. Wow. Yeah, something you're really proud of. That's that's uh, good. Um, I have missed a couple of the side streets. I haven't been able to get up uh, Sanborn, and uh, and actually right down in front of us, I haven't made it yet. There's I know, so I know. Much to see. I'm it's looking just, forward to yeah, checking this checking section that out. out. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, we've, uh, it's very hard, like I said earlier, it's kind of hard to move around, which is a great thing. I know, uh, I know, and it's very good. I was sent on an errand down at the bottom of Haven Street, and I think it took me half an hour to get down and back. <laughs> All right. I can't hear. Really? I think we're going to... Uh, we I think we have a, uh, a clip, a okay. pause, pause Wakefield, it's called. All right. Hi, we're from Reading uh, Community yeah. Television, and we'd like to find out what you're doing here today. Okay, well, we're Paws um, from Wakefield, but we're a foster network for mostly cats right now. Um, we do all kinds of animals if we have um, the right foster homes, but in general, we're doing cats for adoption. Um, and we help the people in the uh, area find spay neuter, uh, low cost spay neuter, microchips, um, nail trims. Okay, how does our, our viewers get to uh, get in contact with you? Uh, we have a website at pausewakefield.org, and we also have a answering, uh, well, a voicemail right now. Um, it's 551-800-PAWS, P-A-W-S. Excellent, very good. Thank you very much. Right, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> uh, live in front of the town hall at the Reading Street Fair. Uh, before we get to our next guest, I have to give a plug to the RCTV-sponsored pie-eating contest. That's going to take place at 3 p.m. at the Woburn Street stage. And I think we have the prize sitting in front of us here, which is an Xbox One 500 GB Go, if that means something to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and now we welcome Matt Cornelis, the Director of Administrative Services. Welcome. Hi, thank you. Thanks for having me here. This is great. What do you think so far? Have you been oh, able to get around? It, it's awesome. I, first of all, I think we should change the name to the Summer Street Fair because <laughs> it's like a summer day out here. It's beautiful. The weather's nice. Everything's cooperating. So really an enjoyable time. It really is. Did yeah. you get caught in that rain, crazy rain? A little bit, um, a little but bit. you know what? It's all gone. We're, it cleared right out. Cleared Once right 12 o'clock rolled around, things were great, and we're you know off and rolling down here. Okay. Yeah. So. So what's going on at uh, Town Hall? Can you tell Well, us? we're very busy in Town Hall. We're starting to put together budgets for next year. Um, the Fall Street Fair Committee obviously was, had a lot of work going on in the last few months to put on this great day here today. And uh, in walking around, I see a lot of town officials down here. We did a nice ceremony to commemorate 9-11 earlier today. That was very which, moving. Yeah, 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 which was very moving, um, and it was a nice thing to do. And um, I think, you know, after the Fall Street Fair, the real next big thing that we do as a community will be the tree lighting. Nobody wants to think about December already, <laughs> but right here in the common behind yeah, us, we'll yeah. be doing a nice tree yeah, lighting. It's a little too warm for that right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Well, if the weather's like today, that would, that would be fine, you know. Yeah. So, right, right. Yeah, so, um, so we're working on a lot of different things, and um, one of my roles in, in the town is ombudsman, and what I do is I handle a lot of constituent issues on behalf of the town manager in the town. So if people have issues, any issue regarding the town, they can free, feel free to contact me or come see me. I'm located right behind the clerk's office in town hall. Um, so right. I, welcome, I yeah. welcome my invitations there, yeah. All right, that's good. Great. Now, in that role, I assume you have a lot to do with uh, events such as this? Yeah, well, we get involved in the planning of these events, and I, I'm sort of the main community contact for the media as well, so I let them know what's going on. We also have a really active social media in the town. Um, we started a Facebook page, a Twitter feed, and I was just down there at the street fair today putting things on the Facebook oh. page, encouraging everybody to come out and see us. So That's right. In fact, I would too. It's a great day down here. Oh, Don't it's awesome. Don't pass this up. you still got plenty of time. Yeah, and yeah. in, in all, the, um, all the events, there's a lot of free things going along around, and there's a lot of free food, and there's a lot of things you can pay for. The kids, if you have kids of any age, come on down. There's a lot of rides and fun things to do. So really, really a happening place. Yes. Reading. There's probably, we expected about 12,000 people down here today, and I think we're getting close. Well, I would say just on my trips down to the other end of Haven Street, there's got to be that many. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think so. It might be even more than that. It was a little yeah. slow early on because of the rain, but yeah. once the sun came out, it was like everybody came out. It actually seems to be a little less humid, too. I don't yeah. know. Maybe it's my imagination. No, it's it's but beautiful. It's the sun, sun's nice shining bright and not too cloudy, and um, yeah, the air is great. So no excuse not to come down to the street fair this year. That's right. <laughs> Sounds good. Excellent. Well, uh, so you said the next event is the... Uh, the well, the tree lighting, the tree lighting will, be, is will, be, will be next as a big community event. We have other things, like we have actually a special town meeting uh, tomorrow night, Monday night, down at the high school. Did you know that? <laughs> you might know that, right? <laughs> so that's, that's coming up. Um, and, you know, we'll be doing all sorts of things in the community um, just on a regular daily basis. So. 
Okay, I think we're about ready to go for a, uh, a uh, another clip here. Okay. And uh, thank you very much. All right, nice, nice to be so here. Lot, Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. Thank nice you. Nice to see you. Okay. Welcome to Reading in the Street Fair. Um, tell us a little bit about your mini emporium. Yes, yeah, so we're a children's boutique, ages zero to five. This is our second day open. So wow, it's all very new, very a little new. scary. Very new. And this is my daughter Natalia and Giorgio. And then I have a, a three-year-old and a three-month-old. Oh my goodness. And we just, we bought the truck from um, a friend, someone in Arizona. Um, and we shipped it here. And we, we don't have a schedule of events yet, so I'm, I'm still, this is a little bit of a soft launch. Okay. Um, I work full time, I have a number of kids. So yeah. we're, we're, we're testing out the waters and I'm really excited. I found when, as we started having all these children, um, I was having, you know, I love shopping at a lot of the large retailers and I love the boat, you know, the, the really cute boutiques, but I was having trouble finding an affordable price point, really good quality clothes. So that's really what I'm trying to do. Affordable, good quality and comfortable. That sounds yeah, great. Yeah. That sounds a great combination. Yeah, yeah. So now, how does this work? You travel? So you're, it's a good question. Just, so uh, I came here and I don't totally have my business plan yet. Um, but what I'm trying to do is I'm going to be going to Natalia's school. Um, she's at St. Augustine's and we're going to do an event there and give um, a portion of um, our profit back to the school. We'll do, we do private parties, um, and we're gonna try and figure it out. Things like this, but I don't have I don't I have I don't have a schedule of events yet. Unfortunately, I should. I'm a little embarrassed that I don't. Do you have a Facebook page yep, or a website? I have a Facebook page and a website, um, miniemporium.com, um, and my Instagram and Facebook are, are both live, miniemporium.com. Yep. Okay, great. That's Thank thanks for thanks for having us. Thank Bye. you. Guys. And this um, is so nice. Good luck. Good luck to all no, of you. No, we really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye. 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 All right, we're back here live in front of the town hall. First thing we have to straighten out. We just talked about an issue, and I guess we pronounced the word wrong. It's robockets. Robockets, like Reading Rockets, except robockets. Okay. <laughs> I think I got it right that time. They were great. They, they were, were, yeah. They were very, that, I was very impressed with it. That was group. pretty good. Now, where were they located? They were on Haven Street. Um, at, well, they're actually in the the uh, parking lot of the Reading oh, Co-op. Okay. I think we actually have a uh, clip coming up on that. Oh, nice. Well, that's good. Is that an interview you did for us? Uh, it was. Yeah, yeah that's I did pretty that good. Earlier. Boy, I, I was really impressed with that young student. Okay. okay. All right. Hi, we're here at the Reading Street Fair. And we've just entered this area, which we would normally know as the uh, parking lot to the Reading Cooperative Bank, but it's set up as a, a children's fun area. And um, we're here with? Uh, I'm James Avgis, and I'm from the Robockets, uh, the high school robotics club here at Reading. I, I wasn't aware that we even had a Reading Robotics Club. Tell me a little bit about it. Um, so we participate in an organization called First Robotics. Um, and what they do is they give us a challenge or a game every year. And um, they give us six weeks to design, build, and test a robot, um, like the ones you'll see back there. And um, so that's what we do as a team. We um, gather resources and we focus on STEM skills and problem solving as we make these robots and then eventually compete with them. Is this your first challenge? Uh, no, I'm a senior on the team, so this will be my fourth year coming up. Um, so I've seen a variety of different games and how things could vary from year to year. And, and uh, obviously you like it if you have, you've still, you're staying with it. Uh, so tell me about some of the prior challenges. Um, so uh, every year they have a very different, exciting challenge. Um, my freshman year we had a challenge where we had a big yoga ball and we had to pass it between robots um, on your team and then get it into a goal. Um, my sophomore year, two years ago, we had a challenge where you had to stack totes and then um, just stack them as high as you can to get more points. And then last year we had a challenge where um, it was medieval themed and we had like a dodgeball and we had to be able to pick it up and traverse over obstacles and then shoot it into a goal as well. Wow, and how did you do with those? Um, last year we did very well. Um, uh, we hosted an event at our own high school, um, so we had 40 teams come and we made the semifinals of that event. Um, 
And then we had a, another event in Rhode Island, which we did well at. And then that led us to the New England Championships in Hartford. And after that, um, we won an award called the Chairman's Award, which um, it celebrates overall team excellence and outreach with the community. Um, so it's given to the teams who have the biggest impact on the areas around them. And um, because of that, we qualified to go to the World Championships in St. Louis. Um, so we went there and competed. That's amazing. That's amazing. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah. Right. Well, and thank you for hosting us for today. And, thank you. Uh, yeah. Thank you for the interview. The the you too. Yeah, thank you. Take care. All right. And one last time, that was Row Buckets. I think we got it right that time. Yeah, finally. <laughs> we just got word that the uh, pie eating contest has been pushed back to 3.30. So if you were planning on 3 o'clock, you've got another half hour to, to build up your Finish appetite. Finish your again. dinner. Finish your dinner. <laughs> right. All right, the next clip is another one by you. It's Hallmark oh, Health. Oh. Hi, we're here at the Reading Street Fair, and we're at the Hallmark Health booth. Yes, thank nice. you for having us today. It's been wonderful. We've had so many people come out. It's nice to be part of the community and show everybody what we do for the community, and um, we're having a great day. And um, I see you giving out bags. Uh, is, that, is that a big yes. seller today? We have bags, and inside the bags are Band-Aids, because we are a health care provider, so we want to make sure our community is safe. And we're promoting our um, upcoming health fair that we're having in October on Columbus Day. It's free, and um, we're going to have all sorts of kids and family health information and fun and face painting and a teddy bear and doll clinic so oh, that's gonna be a great, great day where will that be that will be at the hallmark health medical center in reading at 30 new crossing road on columbus day from 10 to 1. oh that sounds great yeah, it will It'll be well, fun thank you so much for having us thank you enjoy the rest of the fair. thank you thank you so much all right bye-bye and we're and we're back again uh, the next clip we have is for the north shore skating club it's oh oh one we're not quite ready for that. Okay, no problem. We know a skater in that club. We do. Who yeah, is that? We run with Janelle Anderson. Oh, that's right. That's right. A, a member of our running club yeah. is a is a member of that skating yeah. club, Janelle Anderson. It doesn't seem like skating weather right now. No, it does doesn't. It? it doesn't. <laughs> How are we doing? All right. All right. We still got a few more minutes. Yeah. Oh, all right. Okay. So. Uh, so that was, uh, I, those were great interviews. The, the, actually, the people at the booth made it easy for me. Oh, did they? They were very well-spoken. They, they had a lot to say about their businesses or organizations, and they were really, really happy to be here and happy for the chance to, to speak about their... It, it really shows. Yeah. They, uh, yeah, they really, they really seem it. to get into the spirit of it. Yeah, I thought it was great. How many did you do? I think we did around eight of them. Eight. Oh, Just, great. I think we okay. went to about eight booths. And then are we are set? I think we're all set for the, for the North Shore Skating Club. All right. Hi. And welcome to the Reading Street Fair. Thank you very much. And you are? I'm Susie Sweezy. I'm the skating director at the North Shore Skating Club. And I'm here with some of my skaters, and we're pro promoting our skating program, Learn to Skate USA, and our ice theater teams, and all of our freestyle sessions at the North Shore Skating Club at the Burbank Ice Arena. Oh, you're at the Burbank. So yes, that's we great. are. That's yes. great. That's so. great. And um, do you have all ages in your school? We do. We start, the top program starts at age two. And we have people in our programs right up through a man who's on our theater and ice team who's 73 years old. Oh, that's fabulous. That's fabulous. Yes. And um, is this your first Reading Street Fair? This is actually, I believe, our fourth. And we really enjoy coming here every year and meeting all the people. Oh, that's great. Well, thank you so much. Thank for you for having me. Letting us stop by. Thank you. And here we are back live on the. Uh, Town Hall front steps. <laughs> I know. It's, it's well, as we talked about earlier, the day began uh, with a tribute to the, the events of 15 years ago on September 11th. It was a really moving ceremony. Yeah, I, I, I wasn't sure how that would go, but I, I, know. I was very pleased with yeah, it. Yeah, it, it fit very well into uh, the juxtaposition between the, the solemn, solemnity of right. the morning 
moving into a very festive afternoon. And that bagpipe band the bagpipe is so band. good. Yes, I know. Yeah, and yeah. the Reading Community Singers, of course. We okay. We are going to show some highlights from that uh, oh, great. ceremony oh, great. this morning. Thank you. celebrating with us um, and remembering the events of September 11th. Good morning. Will you pray with me? Holy God of all the nations, we give you thanks this day for the opportunity to be in your presence, to show the community and to show the world what our hearts are made of. exactly where we were on September 11th, 2001. None of us will ever forget. In what seems to be 15 long years ago, our country changed by one of the darkest moments in our nation's history. We were faced with tragedy, uncertainty, questions about who and why this would happen. People across the world wondered how Americans would respond. I will never forget the true American spirit I witnessed at Ground Zero and in the weeks following. Reading firefighters attended many funerals in the aftermath of the attacks to honor our 343 fallen brothers and their families, as did fire and police departments across our great country. And here we are back live in front of the town hall. That beautiful day. That was, uh, as I said earlier, that was quite a moving thing. Any of us that were around back 15 years ago, I it must know. seem like yesterday. Although the day before seems like a lifetime ago. I know, yeah. I know. Well, a little earlier, we, um, we were trying some samples from various booths. One of them was the Professor's Market, a great little place down yeah. on South Main Street, or yeah. just outside the square, actually. I think I had some hummus on a um, uh, carrot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we've got a, a segment on this new little market that we'll be showing in just a couple of seconds. Uh, I don't think we're quite ready, but we'll, we'll have that up for you in just a minute. Uh, what else if, did you get to try out when you were down there? Well, of course I had to have a Harrow's, Harrow's pie. pie. Harrow's Harrow's oh, yeah. pie. That's, that's almost as traditional as the bed itself, it. isn't I it? I know it. Yeah. And you can't get much more old-time Reading than no. Harrow's. No. No. They're always there. They're always there. Uh, okay. The Lions were Okay. Always. Right behind us, uh, if you haven't noticed, is the Woburn Street stage. We've had uh, performances all afternoon long. And uh, some really good talent. I can hear it out of one ear as we're yeah. talking, <laughs> out of the other ear. I love seeing the little kids there doing the ballet. And doing the ballet. Tap. And in fact, I saw some of the kids dancing just uh, impromptu. In oh, really? The stage. Yeah. yeah, that was kind of fun. Yeah. Uh, hello again. And now we welcome with us Ryan Panette. Hey, Ryan. how are you? Great to be here. I'm happy to be here today. That's good. So tell us a little bit about your TV show on RCTV. So the TV show that I have on RCTV is called The Songwriter Sessions. Uh, and what it is is a t uh, show that brings on musicians from both from Reading and the surrounding area to really kind of dig into their craft of uh, what makes them tick when, they, when they're going to write songs, what goes into that. Um, they also play on the air too, which is, which is awesome. And right, right, uh, right, being a musician myself, I kind of uh, I, I geek out a little bit watching them, <laughs> watching them do that. But uh, it's a great opportunity for them to explain. You know, sometimes if someone's listening to your record, they, unless you're releasing one with commentary, they're not going to know what the meaning behind a song is or how you came to be. So I kind of try to dig in um, and make that happen uh, so they can share their story. Well, just as a viewer, I like watching the background stories. It's kind of kind of fun to hear. It's our very what? own behind the music here at RCTV uh, to, to put a little bit of more on the, uh, I'll put a little bit more to the songs themselves. Right. Now, you just got here on the stage. Have you been around the fair at all? Have you had a chance I to? I actually just got around here. I was trying, uh, haven't been around for a while, but you know, looking at this whole, the whole setup that they have here every year, year after year, uh, it's, it's a fantastic event. And obviously, you know, great weather 
to have it here uh, towards the end of the afternoon can't really can't beat that you know it's uh, obviously uh, you know just trying to find parking it was a little bit I'm a little sure, bit yeah. uh, difficult to get in there which is good though that means that people are here right. so what's your experience been like so far oh on it's the been so much fun it's really nice i uh, i've walked around two or three times and it's about all I've had the time for because it takes so long to get from one end to the other. Sure. A lot of people here. Uh, somebody was saying the weather's so good it should be called the Summer Street Fair, not the Fall Street Fair. Right, right. Yeah. But it's been really a uh, nice day. Like they all, it always is, but this just seems like a very particularly good one. It, this year. it seems to always hold out for RCTV right. to, uh, <laughs> to have, uh, for RCTV, the town of Reading, um, to get this event underway, and I'm glad that we can bring the coverage to it as well. Yeah. Well, I think we're ready with that um, the Professor's Market piece. Is that right? All right, here we go. Professor. Oh, hi, and welcome to the Reading Street Fair. Hi, thank you. And you are? My name's Lisa. I'm actually the chef at Professor's Market on Main Street. That's great. Where exactly on Main Street are you located? We are at 505 Main Street. We are located right across the street from B&M Restaurant. Oh. Yes. <laughs> and conveniently, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. That's great. And what, do you have, do you have specialties? You have, um, what makes yes. you so unique, which I have heard that you are. Well, thank you. Um, everything we offer is made on the premises. Down to, um, like today we're offering our homemade garlic, um, roasted garlic hummus. We make our own falafel, homemade pasta, and a series of fresh um, cold pastas to go and all of our sandwiches. We also do offer a large series of um, prepared foods to go as well. Oh, that's great. That you can take home and heat up at your convenience for your family. What is your best seller? Wow, that's a tough one. We do a grilled chicken sandwich that is up there, but in addition, of course, our chicken parmesan and a lot of our vegetarian and gluten-free products too. Oh, that's great. That's good to know. Yeah. Well, Thank you so much Thank for you. us drop by. Thank you. Right. And have a good time today at the fair. Yes, we are. Thank you very much. All right. We're back here in front of the town hall at the Reading Street Fair. Helen, I got a question for you. You know, you said you had, had walked a few times down uh, around the street fair. What has been your favorite food item that you have tried well, today? Well, I hate to have favorites, but I, I guess I do. I, I, <laughs> I'm real partial to Harrow's, so uh, the Harrow's... Uh, uh, pie sample was probably the highlight of the day. It always always good chicken pie. It's, yeah, it's yeah. consistent, great food. What else have you have you seen here? Well, just walking up and down, I've seen all of the uh, various um, uh, organizations in town. I had a nice chat with the Reading Antiquarian Society. In fact, we had one of the board of directors on earlier. Uh, they have a lot of events coming up, and it was it was nice to hear about it. Sure. Uh, both uh, Republican and Democratic parties have their booths here, so I've talked a little with a little bit about with them. And then, um, oh, just some of the new restaurants in town. It's always a good opportunity for, you know, the new places that are in town or other places that are, uh, you know, might be tucked away somewhere to really get the word out there and to be able to talk to the people who are going to be coming through and um, really experiencing the people. And like you said, the Democratic uh, and Republican have their booth here. What a way to meet, to meet and greet the people and get out there and really, uh, really have some good conversations. So, um, uh, overall, just a, a great place, great place, great atmosphere uh, for the town of Reading. It's also fun to run into people that you don't see any other time of the year, except maybe the, the uh, tree lighting. <laughs> right. <laughs> a little bit different weather, but uh, definitely, yeah. But it's been really nice. It's and we got some live music. I, I can hear this happening behind us. Uh, yeah, we've got live music at both ends of town. We've got it up here and then down by the depot. It's uh, nice down there too. So it's when you get in the middle, it's almost like you're. It's almost stereo, except that it's different. <laughs> <laughs> right here, and a little bit something different out of both ears, of course, right. of course. Right. But uh, you know, as as always, we're here uh, at the uh, Reading Fall Street Fair, the RCTV covering the event. Um, you know, a great day for the town of Reading to really showcase what it is uh, that the town has to offer, and you know, a great place for parents to come out with children and new folks and everything. So. Um, Really good, really good opportunity and great for the town of Reading. Okay. All right. Next, we have a, an interview with the Calaressos. Let's get to it. Hi. We're at the Reading Street Fair today, and right now we're at Calaressos, Tom Stan's booth. And you are? Hi. Um, I'm Joe Musgrave from Calaressos. That's great to know. Um, and and you, it's Calaressos, not Calaressos. Thank you for that. It, it's a town-wide debate. 
I, I've, I've been part of that debate for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> so, you're here at Calarisos Fruit Stand and Farm Stand Center. Um, what are you doing here at the fair today? So, we're giving away uh, free pumpkin painting to any kid that wants to come down and do that. That's great. That's a nice thing to do. Yeah, we really enjoy it. We've been doing it since the fair started, and um, yeah, it's a thing we like to do each year. That's great. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. And, hey, my and pleasure. Have a great time the rest of the fair. You too. All right. And we're back live in front of the town hall. I'm here with Ryan Panette. My name is Alan Foles, and we're at the Reading Street Fair. Well, we just got a couple of cupcakes from a new... What a time to be at the desk, huh? What a time <laughs> to be at the desk, yeah. <laughs> if these snacks keep coming, I'm going to have to go for another run this afternoon. <laughs> this is the LC Bakery, a baking company. Uh, it's on Haven Street, 26 Haven Street. Uh, we've got a couple of samples, and I'm about to try mine. I think mine is pumpkin. I don't know what you have. I think mine might be the same. It looks like a little bit different of a uh, topping. You might have some topping, coconut yes, yeah. uh, coconut uh, coating there coconut that's in that. Coating? Let's give it a uh, let's give it a go here. Scrumptious. Very good. I'm a sucker for sweets, so anything along this. Again, this is LC Bakery on Haven Street, 26 Haven Street here in Reading. And the two women that own it are Charlotte and Lily. And uh, they have a, a website, LC Bakery, Reading, Mass, at uh, the dot W-I-X-S-I-T-E dot com. And it's slash Lily and Charlotte. I'm going to have to go try them out. I know. I mean, take it from us. These are very good. And we're going to continue to, uh, to munch on these because yep. that's, that, that's a good cupcake. Well, now it feels like fall again now that we've had a pumpkin muffin. It does, right? <laughs> it almost seems like once the pumpkin stuff starts making its way back in, we are uh, officially into the fall season. Yeah. All right. We now have a, a piece on another uh, uh, shop in town, the Reading Square Barbershop. Hi, how are you? Good to see you here. Um, All right. Can you tell me a little bit about your business? Sure. So we open in March. Um, we are a barbershop located right behind Latham and Latham on 11 Pleasant Street. Um, so we've worked together for years, Ellie and I, along with Gail. So we have a lot of years of experience. Good to know. Yes. Yeah. Good to know. And how do you, how do you like the fair today? Awesome. Yeah, so great. Great day. Yes. Yes. First year for us. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. First year has been great. A lot of exposure. All around. Fun crowd. That's exciting. That's great. <laughs> and when you opened in March? Yes. March 1st. Yeah. Yes. So how has Forming been? How it's been great. Yeah. yeah. It's been great. We, um, All right, so location, is it? It couldn't be any better because we have our parking. Right up town. Yeah. We're right up town, right up the square. Um, yeah. The parking. Right. Is awesome. So, and we see new faces every day. So it's great. More and more getting busy. Well, thank you for letting us try. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Have, have fun today. And Thanks you too. Thank you. Enjoy. And and we're back. I just told Ryan as he was eating his cupcake that I was going to throw it right to him while his <laughs> mouth was full. But uh, Luckily, I was able to, to swallow <laughs> down the cupcake there. Yeah. <coughs> cupcake there. A little bit, must be a little bit left in the, in yeah, the, uh, right. in the back of the gullet. <laughs> um, but you just saw there at the um, Reading Square Barbershop. I might, <laughs> might need one pretty soon. The hair's getting a little <laughs> long, but you know who knows? It's also going to start to get a little bit colder, so maybe I need a little bit extra on there to keep myself, <laughs> keep myself a little bit, uh, a little bit warm through the the fall and the winter months. Yeah, so, but right. we're not quite there yet. You know, it's like like I said, the weather out here is is fantastic today. Couldn't really ask for a better day to have this event. No, you couldn't. This is really beautiful out here. If you haven't got down here, you better hurry up. It's a beautiful day, and it's, it's, it should, should not miss it. Still going on. Lots of stuff still happening. If you look behind us here, still a great crowd that's out here. We have uh, still a, uh, almost two hours left uh, of the street fair. So come on down, experience what Reading has to offer, because um, there's a lot, and there's a lot on display here today. Not only is there a lot on display, but like I said earlier, it's a great way to meet your neighbors. It's people you don't see any other time of the year except maybe at the, the, the tree lighting or maybe out shoveling or whatever, <laughs> or re, uh, leaf raking. But it's just a nice way to just go around and see people you haven't uh, run into in a while. And uh, it's, it's what I've 
that's what I've been doing all morning. All Absolutely, afternoon. great way to reconnect with some old people maybe you haven't seen or meet some new people too and you don't know who are around. That's right, yeah. Well, uh, Alan, have you gotten on, as I'm looking behind our set here, there's, there's um, some bounce houses here. Did you partake in any of those? Or uh, did you no, no, do you want to head down? <laughs> <and give it laughs> a I might, we might have to. Yeah, basketball, football, <laughs> and <laughs> Twister, I think it said. That is a, it. That looks like a, a great time for the little ones, but yeah, I don't know. Does, yeah, I don't know yeah. necessarily if we got in there. I don't think so. Yeah, we <laughs> probably wouldn't be uh, welcomed. Well, anyway, we have another uh, piece on Keller Williams. On swing today. Today, I'm representing Keller Williams Realty. My name is Lou Parika. Okay, I'm George Spiros. Nice to meet you, George. Nice to meet you too, ma'am. So, how long has this been going on for? So Keller Williams has been around for a very long time, but we've only been we've been here in Reading now for a year and a half. Now you we, work in oh sorry go ahead oh you're working in real all, estate. Um, do you work all across the all across? We this have Keller state? Williams offices all around the world. Oh okay, all well that's interesting. World. Yeah, we're the largest real estate company by aging count. Okay. Hmm. Ah uh, well, that's interesting. It is interesting. <laughs> Well, so we're here today. We're, you know, we're looking to see if we can help some future home buyers or anyone that's thinking of selling their home. Okay. We also do um, a lot of community service for the city of uh, of Reading, for the town of Reading. We have okay. what we call a Red Day. Okay. So, what kind of raffle prizes are you giving away? Well, right now we have a twenty-five dollar uh, Dunkin' Donuts gift card, and we have some. What is this? A digital photo album. And well, I don't I'm going to be doing, um, when people fill out a survey, they have the chance to um, just get a $5 Dunkin' Donuts gift card. Well, my dad would. Filling out the survey. Well, my dad would sure enjoy that. Well, you make sure he comes on back. <laughs> I'll make sure of it. So it's been nice meeting you all. I don't, is, it okay, is it okay if I get all your names? Sure. Amanda. Claudina. And Sarah. Good to meet you all. Have a nice day, ma'am. Thank you so is much. Well, that was George Spiros. He's our newest host here at RCTV. Love getting more and more hosts and other people that are getting involved with the organization and the uh, RCTV. That's right. So get them young too, and uh, <laughs> that's right. Another good way to get to get involved within town. You know, uh, when I was a youth, uh, I started in with RCTV, and um, you know, from there it actually kind of spearheaded what I got my, my degree in in communication just because of working at RCTV. Oh, wow, so it so started right here. It started right here at RCTV and I uh, still love it. So what is your degree? I'm glad to be here. My, my degree was in communication, mass communication. Oh, great. Um, so doing a lot of TV and film stuff. Um, which was which was a lot of fun to that's, a lot of fun to do, that's pretty and good. and you know back when I started too, it, you know I would never imagine that we'd have a you know a live shoot at a thing downtown outside. Outside, um, I know. The yeah. the leaps and bounds that RCDV has has taken over you know the past five ten years has been awesome, and the, you know it, the setup that RCTV has is hard to beat uh, for other surrounding communities for their for their. Uh, community access so I have uh, uh, friends that that run other stations and they are all very envious of what we have here this is it's so well run there's so much going on absolutely a year ago um, at one of the summer camps they the class made a movie in fact they used my house for part of the movie it was kind of fun <laughs> watching how a movie was put together yeah. and imagine being one of the kids involved oh, absolutely. I, I, I wish I had something like that when I yeah, was that at, age at the premiere of the at the premiere of this year's uh, film uh, just a, just a few weeks ago you know the excitement that the that the kids have and the students have that are making the film and seeing every part of it is awesome and something that is not an uh, opportunity that's afforded to other communities um, so Reading definitely has it uh, a, a good setup here to get the, the youth involved and really kind of get to see the technical side or the acting side if they want to you know, do that as well. The acting side or even, I guess, some of the writing. They did some of the, the script right. writing for yeah. it. It's, it's pretty good. Overall, not too bad. Yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of good stuff going on, going on on Main Street in the RCTV studios. Yeah. So if you okay. haven't ever been in there, stop by. Um, join, become a member. Uh, it's a great organization and a great way. If you ever want to make TV, we can make it happen. Right. It's right downtown, the, uh, the RCTV studios. It's right on Main Street, 557. Uh, the old theater building. In fact, it's, it's kind of fun because the, 
Phil, the director, has put a theater theme to it with yeah. the old movie posters and so forth. It's really cool to see things come back around. You know, in, in way back in the day, if you look at the historical aspects of Reading, there was the theater that was downtown, and now, it, you know, uh, we have a place that's making things that can go in theaters. That's uh, right. So it's come, yeah. come, full, come full circle and really neat to see. And inside of RCTV, there's some of those, the, the old playbills, um, and posters from the movies that were actually shown at that theater. So uh, a very cool kind of tip of the cap to the olden days uh, in the newer spaces here downtown. Right. And it's hard to picture. I, I went to that theater a couple of times. I didn't grow up in Reading, but it was a nearby town. And I uh, got to come over to it a couple of times. It's, it's from another era now, of course, with the big megaplexes sure, and so forth. Sure. It's a whole different feeling, but it's, uh, it was, would, have been nice, would still be nice to have a theater downtown. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yep, certainly. And yeah. there, you know, there's a, there's a couple programs uh, at uh, that have been done at RCTV that have looked at kind of Reading in the old days and how it's changed. And you know, uh, I, I know a few years ago there was a feature on the the boathouse that was up over oh, right. by Home Sailor Goods. Tom's. Yeah, yes, Sailor yeah. Tom's, um, which has a great history uh, and to be uncovered and to be aired on RCTV. Um, it's the kind of stuff that we're giving here at RCTV, trying That's to give a little bit, bit of education to those folks that are he that are in town. Okay. Uh, next up is a clip, uh, neighborhood restaurant. Is that what we're, we're about to show? Yep. All right, we're ready to go. Hi, and welcome to the Reading Street Fair. Thank you so much. And you are? My name is Julia Slowinski. Julia. Oh, very nice. Um, and you are with? Uh, B I'm with the neighborhood restaurant group. Okay. We have four locations. Our local location is Biltmore in Maine and Reading. That's great. I've, I've been there. I've enjoyed it. <laughs> great. So happy and, to hear. Um, what are your specialties so at this location? So actually right here, if you take a look at our banner, we have the mac and cheese fritters. That is something that we are famous for, and we're offer, offering coupons today for a free order. Oh, that's great. Um, we're, we have a new American menu, just your classics, burgers, steak, chicken, your all the favorites. Yeah. I, I hear you have a huge beer selection. We do. We have 38 craft beers um, on draft, and we have another 60 bottles and cans. So it's a big, it draws a big craft beer crowd. That's good. And how have you been received by the Reading? Um, you know, it's great. People are, it, like I said, there's something for everybody. So it's just, it's been wonderful. The community's been so welcoming, and we've had had a great year. Okay, We're happy to be great. here. Well, thank you so much for having us. Thank and, you. Um, enjoy the rest of the day at the fair. Thanks so much, you too. Okay. All right. Welcome back here to the Reading Falls Street Fair and RCTV's live coverage. My name is Ryan Panette, and I'm I am joined by Jake Berman. Uh, we are here to bring you live coverage of the Reading Falls Street Fair 2016 on this gorgeous Sunday afternoon uh, down here in downtown Reading. We are set up outside of uh, Town Hall here in Reading, uh, doing a three camera shoot here. And we have correspondents all over uh, taking yeah, videos and interviews. They're walking all over, they're uh, doing the best uh, coverage that they can. So I really uh, think they're doing a great job today. And you've done this right before. You've, oh, you've yeah. been out there as a correspondent. I walked around, yeah, I uh, went out into the war zone, <laughs> so to say. And now have you, have you, you've been out and walked around this year over I there? I have, what, yeah. what has been your experience thus far? I definitely say that, well, the weather is a lot nicer than last year. Last year is kind of overcast. I mean, we're lucky that the sky cleared up, didn't rain like it did this morning. But um, I'd say definitely I feel a big community atmosphere going on here. You know, everyone getting together. This is really the last time before it starts getting cold that we can all uh, be out and enjoy the town and each other's company. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, what was, your, what was your favorite thing that you went by today? Favorite thing? I don't know. There were so many things. I'd say my little cousin came and went to the little petting zoo. So it was really cute to see all the kids there with the animals. And that's, that was a big uh, family attraction. Sure. And were you able to check out any of the other arts or maybe some of the... I know there was dancing that was going on yeah, and some music. Yeah, dancing and music going on by the train station at the stage there. So... Um, I always like how we get a vast array of performers coming on to show their stuff. Absolutely. Great opportunity yeah. to perform right here in town. Exactly. Did you stop by any booths with food? Food? Not yet. I've been so busy, you know, just walking around, enjoying everything. I haven't had a chance to eat. So, and uh, now we got you here on set. Exactly. I'm, I'm like wondering if these things are edible or not. <laughs> <laughs> so <clears throat> you were at, you've been at the street fairs before. Oh, yeah. Uh, what do you, you know, you, you mentioned before that it's a really good for the community, but yeah. what do you think is the, 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 the number one best part? 
I'd say just having everyone come out and enjoy it together. You know, we have a beautiful day enjoying, um, you know, everything that the town has to offer. You know, people coming in from other communities as well. I know I've met a couple people from all over Massachusetts today. And, um, you know, I think that having everyone out here to enjoy the day and, you know, appreciating all the town services, especially, you know, the government, police and fire, you know, they, they're really out here doing a great job today. So especially today, we really want to say thank you to them. D uh, absolutely. And, I, you know, I think it's a, you make a good point there. We have a lovely day, and this is, a, a, yeah. you know, obviously a summer day in, in a lot of ways, but yeah. um, a, a way that we can say thanks as well to right. those that are in the public service. Exactly. Now, Jake, I also saw you that you were over kind of in the tent where we have our whole production yeah. set up here. What have you been, uh, what have you, what were you doing over there? Or I was describe just, the scene that was over there. Uh, a lot of people pressing a lot of different buttons. <laughs> I was just waiting to go on, getting some water before, and <laughs> it's just... A lot of wires going on there, but it's definitely a great, uh, great year to do it live. It's a beautiful day, and absolutely, you know, I, you know, as I'm looking over to our uh, production booth off to the the side of our our desk here, there are a lot of wires. Yeah, there's a lot of people, and there's a lot that comes down to trying to make a production like this happen. Yeah. So a, a big thanks to all the crew mm -hmm. here uh, at RCTV that is making this event happen. Um, it's not an easy thing to put on a broadcast. Yeah. It's not an easy thing to put on a live broadcast. Exactly. Uh, and that's what's been going on all day today with right. correspondents out, getting interviews with the different booths, um, and, and really kind of bringing this, uh, yeah. this event to life mm -hmm. for a lot of other people maybe yeah. who can't get here or right. um, are watching at home and yeah. maybe have already gone home and yeah. still want to be, you know, play part of it. I don't know why anyone in their right mind would want to be watching it at home. They just walk outside and come on down here. It's a beautiful day, Yeah. You know? Get out and enjoy it. Not too many of these days left. Absolutely. Now, did you did you learn anything new today since being at the fair? Anything new? Let's see. Um, really haven't learned so much. I really went around to appreciate everything that's going on, though. Um, yeah, I learned that the, the jewelry is expensive that they sell. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Well, it, you know... It's a uh, a lot of really great things that are out mm -hmm. here that that people can uh, that can people can uh, take part in. We have another segment up here uh, featuring the Reading Chamber of Commerce. Mm -hmm. So, this is George Spiros reporting from Chamber of Commerce, Reading Reading and North Reading Chamber of Commerce. Um, this is this is Lisa. Hi, I'm Lisa Egan. Okay. I'm Jack Egan. Good to meet you too. I mean, friends of mine, but so what do you really do here? We support local businesses, so we want to see all the stores busy, and we also do the holiday tree lighting. That's our okay. big deal for the Reading Chamber, so it's November 27th, okay. right on the common. We light the lights, and we pay for them all season long. Okay. It's good to hear. Now, what are your giveaways here? Uh, I have both mints and lollipops. We also have a free raffle for Bertucci's for a $50 gift card. If you would, and your cameraman would like to enter, you're welcome to. Would you like to, Alex? <laughs> oh, well, okay. Who doesn't want free pizza? Who doesn't want free pizza? We actually get free pizza. Oh, you get free pizza. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Well, I'm glad you guys are down here at the fair and the, the, the rain is gone. Yeah. It's nice out. I actually heard it was pouring while I was at church this, yeah, this afternoon. Yep. Looks good now, though. Clear skies. Good to hear. Now, would you like to say anything, Jack? Not really. Oh, okay. Have a nice day. Welcome back. That was the Reading and North Reading Chamber of Commerce. Um, you know, there's been some really great uh, d different shots that we've had today from our correspondents Absolutely. that have been out there. Yeah. We really. Uh, Got to tip our caps to them because they're really doing the dirty work. We have it easy up here. We just have to sit here. But they're out collecting all the, uh, the news and the information, really uh, get, getting it to us. Sure. And it's, you know, it's, it's a really good opportunity as well for, um, it's a good sounding board uh, yeah. and, and an opportunity for local organizations and businesses to put their name out there and Absolutely. talk to customers who might not know where they're at right. or might not know uh, how to interact with them or where their mm -hmm. storefront is. Right. Uh, so a good opportunity to kind of really dial up that commerce mm -hmm. uh, and get people through the doors and get, the, get them uh, right. aware of what's going on. Yeah. Uh, so what, just before uh, we were we were talking about, you know, things that you've learned here and, you, you know, saying that Julia, learned that Julia was expensive, <laughs> any new organizations that you saw uh, that um, you were not aware of? I know that there are a couple of new restaurants that popped up around town, so um, 
Yeah, I think it's great that we're having you know constantly new businesses come to Reading. You know, Reading really needs the uh, the businesses to attract people to come here, and you know, Reading is this is a prime spot for businesses to come and really show what they have and do do good for the community. Yeah, and there's been a lot more business owners that have. Uh, yes chosen to come to Reading and, and make this their home, yeah. which has been awesome for the, the residents of Reading and the surrounding communities yeah. to bring a lot more people in. Um, you know, if you look at downtown, what it looks like now, if you look 10 years ago, it was right. vastly different from what right. it is. Obviously, but there's a lot more curb appeal and there's a lot, mm -hmm. um, you know, the Reading Square has turned into a modern square yeah. uh, of what it is with, you know, restaurants and different kind of shops. Mm -hmm. And as you see it here behind us, it's uh, there's a lot yeah. of really cool stuff going on with it. A lot it. of people, a lot of organizations out here enjoying it. And I definitely have to say, I was young when they redid the whole downtown, so I don't have a ton of memories of what it looked like before. But I really have to say they did a fantastic job on this, and Reading is now a destination spot to come for young families, especially on days like this and the tree lighting later uh, in November. Absolutely, I, I was uh, I lived through the the changes, and yeah. I was uh, back when I was in high I did, school was I did when too. a lot of it. The uh, thank God I wasn't driving yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you know, I I I drove when there was um, the the dummy was yeah, still there, the which was a little a little that. a little confusing when exactly. you're learning to drive. Yeah. So we are going to go to our uh, next segment here. Um, so we'll we'll get that. Hi, we're from Reading uh, Community yeah. Television, and we'd like to find out what you're doing here today. Okay, well, we're Paws um, from Wakefield, but we're a foster network for mostly cats right now. Um, we do all kinds of animals if we have um, the right foster homes, but in general, we're doing cats for adoption. Um, and we help the people in the uh, area find spay-neuter, uh, low-cost spay-neuter, microchips, um, nail trims. Okay, how does our, our viewers get to uh, get in contact with you? Uh, we have a website at pausewakefield.org, and we also have a answering uh, well a voicemail right now. Um, it's 551-800-PAWS, P-A-W-S. Excellent, very good. Thank you very much. Right, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> have a good day. And that was Paws Wakefield that we just heard from there. Um, you know, Reading Fall Street Fair, yes, it's, it's Reading, but there's mm -hmm. also some right. other organizations from other surrounding communities mm -hmm. that are in here as well. Yeah, I think th uh, from all over Middlesex County. And it's really also another great opportunity for area business owners, not just Reading people, to really go and showcase what they have and, you know, make the whole area, the, the economy stronger that way throughout the whole county and uh, the northeastern Massachusetts. Sure, and I think there's a lot of uh, really good opportunities and partnership opportunities mm -hmm. with other surrounding communities right. of Reading and Wakefield. You know, and we have really North good Redding. relationships with those towns, and that's what creates strong commerce and the, uh, the economy and all that fancy money stuff. So we're going to have our next segment up here uh, being delivered by Ace Folds. Welcome to Reading and the Street Fair. Um, tell us a little bit about your mini emporium. Yes, yeah, so we're a children's boutique, ages zero to five. This is our second day open, so wow, it's all very new, very a little new. scary. Very new. And this is my daughter Natalia and Giorgio, and then I have a, a three-year-old and a three-month-old. Oh my goodness! And we just we bought the truck from um, a friend, someone in Arizona, um, and we shipped it here. And we, we don't have a schedule of events yet, so I'm, I'm still, this is a little bit of a soft launch. Okay. Um, I work full time, I have a number of kids. So yeah. we're, we're, we're testing out the waters and I'm really excited. I found when, as we started having all these children, um, I was having, you know, I love shopping at a lot of the large retailers and I love the boat, you know, the, the really cute boutiques, but I was having trouble finding an affordable price point really good quality clothes so that's tr really what I'm trying to do affordable good quality and comfortable that sounds yeah, great yeah. that sounds a great combination yeah yeah so now how does this work you travel so you're, that's a good question just, so uh, I came here and I don't totally have my business plan yet um, but what I'm trying to do is I'm going to be going to Natalia's school um, she's at St. Augustine's and we're going to do an event there and give um, a portion of um, our profit back to the school. We'll do, we do private parties, um, and we're gonna try and figure it out. Things like this, but I don't have I don't I have I don't have a schedule of events yet. Unfortunately, I should. I'm a little embarrassed that I don't. Do you have a Facebook page yep, or a website? I have a Facebook page and a website, um, miniemporium.com, um, and my Instagram and Facebook are, are both live, miniemporium.com. Yep. Oh. 
Okay, great. That's Thank thanks for guys. thanks for having us. Thank Bye. you. Guys. And this um, is so nice. Good luck. Good luck to all no, of you. No, we really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. And that, of course, was the mini emporium and the, the story there delivered by Ace Folds. Um, again, a lot of really good opportunities for people to tell their stories to everyone right. who's coming along here. Yeah, and especially the mini emporium. I haven't seen that one before. I don't know if they're new or not. But, um, you know, I think it's just great to see attractions for kids of all ages. You know, that was geared towards younger children. And we have a lot of music going on. You know, it's great to see people of all ages coming out and enjoying this. Sure, and we have another segment that's up right here. Uh, we're gonna hear from the Girl Scouts. Hi, and uh, welcome to Reading Street Fair today. You are with the Girl Scouts, and can you tell me your name? Um, hi, I'm Nicole Boyer, and I'm a member of a freshman member of Troop 71611. Oh, that's great. And can you tell me about your calendar? Well, this is the Reading Sites of Cal the sites of Reading Girl Scout calendar. For the past six years, um, a, troop, a troop from the high school has done it, and now it's our turn to do it. So we would, first we went around and took different pictures of Reading, and then we, and then once the pictures were done, we went around and asked for sponsors to help, to help provide funds for our calendar. And then we edited the pictures and selected a printer to print it out. Um, so that's like a little mini business. You're an entrepreneur. <laughs> I guess I am. <laughs> um, yeah, the calendars are sale for only, um, they're only $12 for one or two for 20. Um, you can either, you can either come to our booth, which is right outside Reading Co-op Bank, or you can, or you can per take one of our flyers and purchase them online. That's great to know, and uh, what a great job. Thank you. Thank you so much for letting us drop by and talk to you. Anytime. Okay. So that's weird. Just hear, heard from the Girl Scouts there. Uh, it kind of yeah. makes you a little bit hungry. Oh yeah, I, I could really go for a box of Thin Mints right now. I probably eat more of those than I should. You know, I, I never I'm, read the serving size. Thin Mints are probably my favorite, yeah. but the peanut butter patties are also well, quite good as I, well. I'm allergic to peanut butter, so unfortunately, I uh, don't know how delicious oh, those brutal. are. Brutal. Yeah, I know, I know. But uh, Thin Mints have always been my favorite. So the next clip that we're going to go to here uh, is from the uh, parade and ceremony, remembering. Uh, oh. 11 mm -hmm. uh, and we'll get to that here in a second but I know you mentioned earlier that right. uh, you know obviously today being September 11th mm -hmm. a bit somber uh, within that as a day of remembrance right. but um, what do you, you know I don't I'm uh, I have yet to exchange ages with you but yeah. what do you if anything remember of that day? Um, well I'm 16 and a half now so I was what was that I was born January of 2000 so I'm gonna try to do my math here I was like 18-ish months then, but you know, 15 years later, I think we're still strong as a country and a nation and moving forward. And also here today, just saying thank you to our police and fire, uh, firefighters here who come out, protect our community and keep us safe. Sure, I think uh, when I look back and remember my experience from that day, I was sitting in a classroom uh, mm -hmm. early morning at Coolidge Middle School. I was, <laughs> I was a sixth grader back uh, on September 11, 2001. Yeah. Um, and I remember we, we actually had the, the television screen on. Yeah. Um, and uh, I remember that being, as a sixth grader, kind of not knowing right. what was going on with that. And the teachers doing a great job of trying to get us all kind of on the same page right. of right. what was happening and to comfort us in that as well. With kind of, also understanding right. that we were 10 and 11 years old. You have to find the right balance between, you know, sheltering them and also showing that this is what goes on in the world and it's not all pretty. Sure. Um, so, I, I, again, we're going to go to highlights here of the 9-11 uh, uh, ceremony and parade. And celebrating with us um, and remembering the events of September 11. Good morning. Will you pray with me? Holy God of all the nations, we give you thanks this day for the opportunity to be in your presence, to show the community and to show the world what our hearts are made of.
Today is a day for reflection and remembrance. For those of us old enough to remember exactly where we were on September 11, 2001, none of us will ever forget. In what seems to be 15 long years ago, our country changed by one of the darkest moments in our nation's history. We were faced with tragedy, uncertainty, questions about who and why this would happen. People across the world wondered how Americans would respond. I will never forget the true American spirit I witnessed at Ground Zero and in the weeks following. Reading firefighters attended many funerals in the aftermath of the attacks to honor our 343 fallen brothers and their families, as did fire and police departments across our great country. And again, there, that was the highlights of the 9-11 uh, parade and ceremony here earlier today um, to remember that somber day, but also uh, to remember those who, who you know, mm -hmm. ran towards right. um, the yeah. World Trade Center. Those uh, heroes to help that out. really, you know, it, it could have been a lot worse and it's still awful, but, you know, thanks to those heroes and the first responders, you know, there is, there is hope, there is light, and, you know, we have something to look back on and, and smile about, you know, the heroic the, um, you know, how they ran towards the sounds of the chaos, and we really have them to look back on and thank. And, you know, that's one of the things that, uh, for there's people out there protecting our freedoms right. so that we're exactly. able to have days like this. Right. Uh, and great days where people come together mm -hmm. and celebrate uh, the town of Reading and celebrate each other. Yeah. Um, and do some fun things as well. Right. So our next, uh, we're actually going to head down to the Woburn Street stage for live coverage of the pie eating contest. So oh we'll check this out. You're allowed to flip it, but you have to use anything but your hands to flip it. You can use your nose, your chin, your mouth to flip the pie over. You can eat it right off of the table if you want. Have at it. We put a little whipped cream on there to make it a little extra messy for those that are taking pictures. Enjoy. And you're going to have five. Nope, the water's just a wash down, so if you guys get messy, you can drink some water. You can have five minutes to complete this exercise. The first one done is our winner. The second and third place prizes are... I'm going to let you pick anything you want. Xbox One. Oh, we're already giving away for first place. How about movie tickets? Second place and third place get movie tickets. DJ, are you ready? Contestants, are you ready? You guys have a huge crowd. You should see the amount of cameras. It looks like the paparazzi. Crowd, are you ready? Yeah. Reading public, are you ready? Yeah. On your mark, get set, go! Yeah. What's your favorite part? Strawberry 
everybody. You're going to see in the new hot dogs, that's good. You can go hot dogs and dirt. We just got to eat our feet. All right. Congratulations. So we're sitting here uh, watching the monitor here because we have a live feed of what's mm -hmm. actually on the screen watching the pie eating wow. contest and it's unbelievable. That was actually that's just a pretty good pie eating. Yeah. I mean, I've I mean, uh, I've lost every pie eating contest I've ever been in, yeah. um, but. You know, that being said, pie is always, always good. I mean, no not just the pie, but, you know, the prize after. You know, the kid just won an Xbox One. Like, someone had some extra cash floating around. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, listen, I would, I would, I would, uh, is that what it was? It was sponsored it was sp by? Sponsored so, by us. Wow. Sponsored by That's RCTV. coming out of the page. That, yeah. uh, that uh, Xbox One that was won there by, uh, by that uh, young man was sponsored by RCTV, which is pretty awesome. Which is it's a good day. Eh? You can have things hey, all over the place. You get, you get uh, to eat some pie, win an Xbox, go home, and then go to school tomorrow, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it. Um, you know, it's really good that uh, we're able to, um, you know, have things like that. Yeah. Could you imagine every pie eating contest that I've ever been in was uh, was not a uh, not an Xbox One as a prize? We have quite a few people who want to test their pie eating oh, abilities yeah, I mean, against I run down there. those other that are <laughs> right that's actually happening right it's down close. here I just uh, beyond us we can hear the excitement yeah. and the um the, the fervor of the crowd that right. that's happening down there but um again you know we look at different things it's the Reading Fall Street Fair is not a one-dimensional thing. Right. It's not just booth. It's not just music. It's not just pie eating contests yeah. or bouncy houses or whatnot. There's a whole lot of stuff that's going it's on here. Right. Um, so it looks like we're about to get. Uh, looks like it's getting rolled. We're doing introductions here on the on the pie eating contest. Um, I'm trying to look here to see if I can pick a favorite, but they all look like they're. Pretty, I don't know. Uh, I mean, you got to get the ballot in. You got to read the odds. I mean, I feel like I don't know. Should I act as like a golf commentator? He's like, he's getting the pie. He's putting it towards <laughs> his mouth. Oh, and he got it. Or I don't know. Should I be like the Mexican soccer so this, guy? <laughs> this here is the uh, Reading Recreation Pie Eating Contest, which is being sponsored by RCTV. This is coming up is the second round here, mm -hmm. uh, and we have a whole host of different competitors. We have someone in a Reading football jersey. We also have someone in a Superman onesie. Ooh, which I, I, mean, I can I imagine know. is I mean, pretty hot. I mean, today. it's a it's a balance between do I go with the football player or Superman? That's tough. Well, and we have a lot of other great competitors yeah. there as well, lining up the, oh, uh, there as you see there, the, showing off the Xbox prize. One that is, um, <laughs> that is sponsored by RCTV um, here for the Reading Recreation Pie Eating Contest. Yeah. As the crowd is getting whipped up into a frenzy. Oh, they're excited. They're down there. Literally the pie whipped up with pie. <laughs> As you saw earlier, uh, I was one of our co uh, correspondents, George Spiros for RCTV, is actually in uh, the Ooh. competition right now. He's on the left here in the red shirt. There's George um, getting ready to uh, take on the pie. You can Ooh. see he's got the crew on the back of yep. his shirt. Uh, George has been doing some great work for us today, interviewing different booths. And there it is, the, the whipped cream that's oh, getting yeah, put there on we top go. of there. They're getting whipped into shape right now. John. John Fudo is hosting from Reading Recreation. Uh, we're going to go to John live here. Okay, let's play on the table of whipped cream. All of you have a bottle of water. Feel free to use it. touch the plate. You're allowed to flip it over. The person that finishes the pie first or has eaten the most in a five minute time frame is our grand prize winner. Second and third will also be given prizes. 
Are you guys ready? Is the crowd ready? TJ, are you ready? Then on your mark, get set. to decide who is eating the most pie. Who is eating the most pie?
run. What a performance oh, wow. uh, by all the by all the participants there at the pie eating contest. <laughs> Did you see when the when the plate dropped off the table and the competitor continued to fight the good fight and eat the pie on the ground? Wow, you know, you know, like, like I say, dogs are men's best friend. You know, they're learning <laughs> from our uh, our dogs. <laughs> you know, it's it's crazy to think there um, that. Uh, there's, that's a lot of pie consumed Ooh, yeah. really quickly. And yeah. like I mentioned to you earlier, uh, George Spiros, uh, one of our crew members here from RCTV, just participated in that. Um, and again, that event was sponsored by RCTV, the prize there in Xbox One, <laughs> um, sponsored by RCTV and uh, Reading Recreation running it. Yeah. George is going to come join us here on set to talk about that. Uh, to talk about his experience there in the uh, pie eating contest. You know, a great event, uh, like I mentioned to you before, I've never won a pie eating contest, not once in my life have I even come close. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll have, uh, we'll hear from George just shortly yeah. uh, as he's gonna come up. I think he's getting, uh, must be getting himself maybe cleaned up or something else that's down there. Um, but what a, you know, what yeah. a great event yeah. that we have here, Reading Recreation running that, uh, <laughs> running that contest. As you see there, they're trying to clean up. There was pie flying everywhere. Oof, yeah, it's everywhere. It's just like a, uh, kind of reminds us that winter's coming and uh, pretty soon pie's not going to be flying all over the place. It's going to be snow. That's right. It was a, uh, a good, good, valiant effort and a good uh, showing there on both, both uh, instances of the, um, of the pie eating contest. And again, that was an a Xbox One that was given as a prize there. Uh, donated by RCTV yeah. for the first, you know, that's a that's a pretty good... Uh, yeah, absolutely. That doesn't, doesn't make for a bad Sunday. You know, right, yeah, you eat and then go home uh, and play some video games. <clears throat> and as you see here, things at uh, the Reading Falls Street Fair, things just keep rolling one thing right yep, after the yep. other. So now we see here there's um, a, a band getting set up here on the stage that's down there. We're going to have mm -hmm. a little bit of more, a little more, more live music. I believe, if I see that correctly, that's Patrick uh, Beckman. Um, mm -hmm. if, if my eyes don't deceive me, um, who will be performing up yeah. there. Yeah. So a, uh, overall, again, a great day. I'm, yeah. I'm trying to see if we're going to get George uh, up here to come and speak with us. <laughs> oh, George is on the way. Uh, here he um, comes. He is on the way. I see him walking up from behind us. Um, face still covered. Face still covered uh, yeah. in the pie. Let me tell you, it's a good um, thing he's wearing that red shirt. Blends right in. <laughs> it is. It, it works out for him. Works really good in that, uh, in that, in that color for him. So George is coming on here, uh, and we're gonna get him, get him all mic'd up here soon. George, once, <laughs> yeah, you can talk just like that, George. Wow, George. Describe that whole experience to me. We were watching here from up on our, uh, we were watching here we're from watching up on our screen. Uh, I thought you did a great job. But tell us, tell us about that experience. Um, it was awful. <laughs> I, I will admit it, it was awful. It was disgusting. What kind of pie was it? Blueberries you can clearly see all over my face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is just embarrassing. Was, yeah. it, was, it a good, was it good? Um, it tasted good, but over time it started getting sickening. Yeah, sure, that's eating quite a lot of pie. Yeah, yeah eight inch. Now, yeah. how how close were you to, to, to winning that? Was it was it, was it a, a small a slim margin of victory, or did the person who the person who won really just kind of run away with it? Let's just say it was like a whole crust left. Oh, are you are you calling conspiracy? Uh oh. No. Pie gate. <laughs> I, I was off by like a crust shot. Oh, you were okay, okay. You know what though? It's it's difficult to try to get that much pie and to eat that much pie um, without your hands too. Especially without your hands. Tell us about the challenges that you faced down there. Um, nausea. <laughs> nausea Let's just vomiting. say nausea. Nausea, vomiting, upset, upset stomach, headache. I was, I was trying to force myself to keep it down, but I was also saying to myself, should I just let it up now? Oh no, yeah, not, <laughs> George, not now. <laughs> George, you've gotten the full experience here at the Reading Falls Street Fair. You've been covering uh, different booths for Arches TV and now participating in the pie eating contest. George, are you, uh, if you ever get faced with a pie eating contest again, are you going to participate? I will. But next time, I want to get further warning on what kind of size of pie I got, because I heard it was like this small, as the camera can see. But then I got an eight inch. So you you just need a little bit more time to train and prepare. Never mind train, just 
all around. I just want to get further information on like how big it's going to be. Because if it's that big, I'm never going to finish it fast. Right. You know, they do have Major League eating in big uh, eating contests every year. And those guys are actually in really good shape. It's kind of crazy considering the amount of food they eat. Considering how many times they also pump their stomachs. Right. All right. There's now, a, now oh. we'll, we'll go like get that the, off. the cleaning ah. of the face here by. Uh, it's even worse now. <laughs> <laughs> Delivered, <laughs> delivered from RCTV Thanks, Executive Bill. Director Phil Rushworth um, to oh. get the pie that's off the face. That oh. might take a little bit more than yeah. that to get the, the, the pie fully Definitely. off there. Yeah. Um, oh. So overall, not a bad experience for you, though. No, not really. But soon as we'll be at the toilet. Uh-oh. <laughs> so what, uh, what, what's been overall your favorite experience um, uh, at the well, Street Fair Well, to be today? honest, I'm going to say... I'm going to see the pie con. And Being the pampered pie con. by Phil? Oh, that's better. Yeah, wet towel. Oh, so much better. He's getting the, getting the full treatment here. George Spiros, him, one of him. our correspondents, yeah. interviewing people today. Yeah, uh, pie eating contest, have. really I'm taking the full advantage yeah. of our uh, the full Reading Falls Street Fair. Uh, overall, just another really good event. George, you know, we wish you would have pulled out um, the, uh, the first place, but, you know, you can't win them yeah. all, right? Yeah. <laughs> You well, win like, some, I'm never going to win that kind of <laughs> contest. <laughs> you win some, some, you stiff, lose more. It was some stiff competition, though. right? Yeah, I mean, I, you see that 16-year-old? I'm not even sure what his name was, how old he actually was, but he was massive and he was radio. Right. He, <laughs> let me see the birth certificate, right? <laughs> <laughs> but overall, yeah. a fun event, right? That's a, a, a good yeah. time to be had. Yeah, definitely fun. Now, you've done some interviews today, too, George. What... um. What has been your favorite interview, or what did, what did you learn, or what's one thing you learned today from a, a booth or someone you interviewed? Well, I learned that there are plenty of companies out there for real estate. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in the market for buying a home, are you buying a home? Uh, no, not for a very long while. <laughs> <laughs> Much better. It's a good time to sell, though. Yeah. There's All right, so we, uh, we have our next clip uh, ready up here from our coverage of the Reading Falls Street Fair live here with RCTV, so we're going to bring that to you right now. Hi, we're at the Reading Street Fair and we have a, a, a couple of entrepreneurs here who have, who have no booth, they're boothless, but we'd like to introduce them. Hi, I'm Jack. Hi, I'm Steve. We're Golden State Bearwear. It's our clothing line. Tell us a little bit about how you um, came up with this idea and um, how it's working for you. Shall we tell them the story? Go ahead. So pretty much what happened was... Uh, it's Golden State, is California, obviously. Right. We're both from the area, but what happened was he dated a crazy girl and moved to California with her, and yeah. that's where he came up with the idea. They journeyed across the country in a U-Haul, so he got to see all different parts of the country, and there was a lot of inspiration there, plus he saw a lot of bears out there. So then he came up with the logo, and since him and I are best friends, I have my associate's degree in graphic design, oh, you do. and now I'm getting my bachelor's in business management and marketing, so he teamed up with me and had me draw up the logo that he designed and then we started making all these designs. We got our online store now. We got a print-on-demand service producing our products. And you know, right now we're just trying to spread brand awareness and rack up sales. That's great. Yeah. And uh, where are you based? Reading. Right here in Reading. That's great. Right. Right. So your idea was to come to the fair today. And yeah. And you've met a lot of people. Have you? Yeah, we've met a lot of people. Out? Figured we'd do a little bit of direct marketing. Right. Great. I use my graphic design skills. Well, thank you so much for letting us talk to you today. Hey, no and, problem. Um, enjoy the rest of the fair, and hey. good luck with your business. Feel Sweet. free to buy some clothes. <laughs> And welcome back to RCTV's coverage of the Fall Street Fair. My name is Jake Berman. Alongside. I am Ryan Panette, and we are going to be joined by uh, George Spiros, who we just heard from, but he just ran up yeah. to get his glasses, and here he comes right now. Yeah. George, welcome back. Thank you. We'll get you all, you know, the headset, and there he is. He's here in. All right. Ready to okay, so we're yeah. live on the steps of the Reading Town Hall. Great, uh, great live setting today. You know, we got a great live show coming up for you. So uh, what's going on, guys? How are you enjoying the fair today? I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good, yeah. The fair's been great so far. Uh, yeah. Great crowd, great day. Can't Beautiful. beat it. Beautiful day, you know. We're not always lucky with great weather in New England, but today is definitely uh, one of those days that we're thankful about. Certainly. One of those days uh, where we hope we don't get rain, and thank goodness it cleared up earlier this morning. Yes. I I'm very glad that it cleared yeah. up and that it wasn't that bad. 
I mean, I thought it was going to downpour. Right. Yeah, it looked like that earlier today. Yeah. But, um, you know, what time did you get to the fair this morning? What, I what got here time? around 12.30 to 1. 12. Mm -hmm. And so what have you been doing all day? Well, I've been going around with one of our um, cameramen mm -hmm. and interviewing. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Okay, good, good. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I've been going around with the cameraman, interviewing people, and interviewing uh, mm -hmm. company stands. Yeah. Especially Verizon, Verizon right down over there. Mm -hmm. Oh, very nice crowd. Yeah. Nobody so on the angry side or yeah. the side. Ho hopefully not. You know, you're, they don't take it out on you. <laughs> Yeah. So you really go out into the field and, like I like to say, do our dirty work for us. I mean, we have it easy. We just sit at the desk. But you are really the, you guys are really the heart and soul of the operation. You go out and get the footage. You, um, you know, you bring it to us. And, you know, and anyone watching at home now, you know, it's thanks to them that they, that you see what you're seeing. But Thank now you've you. made it, George. Yeah. You're at yeah. the desk. You're you made it. it. Congratulations. You're at the pinnacle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so what are some of your favorite things that you've done here at the fair today? Well, I mean, I really haven't done much besides walking around. I never really got a chance to go on the activities or anything, but if anything, I'd say talking to the people, talking seeing to people, their right. opinion. Yeah. That, that's probably the best part, along with the pie-eating contest. Yeah, and that, that's one of the things that makes the fall fair great, is that everyone in the community can get out and talk to each other and interact. And it's really one of the last times that we can all get together before our winter sets in and we all uh, have to crawl back to our little uh, houses and yeah. stay in for the winter. <laughs> True. It's all right, though. When you crawl into home, it's still exactly. football season. The yeah, football still, season. Yeah. First Sunday of the football Opening season. Opening day for so. the Patriots tonight. That's right. Yeah. Out in Arizona, 8.30 p.m. How, how do you think that's going to go? I'm a, I'm a diehard. I always yeah. hope for the best. Yeah, I know. think Jimmy G will be okay. I think yeah. so. We have to hope so because uh, we got a couple more weeks before Brady comes back. Yeah, you know, we're not even going to get to the flake gate. I like to say yeah, the, the, the D word here. Yeah. I'm not crazy about football or anything, but don't get me wrong. It's still enjoyable to watch. I just really don't know that much, and I don't really want to stick my nose into the wrong pie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see pie. what I'm doing with words nice. here now. I love it. So, George, <laughs> we're going to go to one of your clips now, an interview that you did with the RMHS Drama Club. Okay. Spirits, we're sitting right here at the RMHS Drama Club and this is Jeremy Fox, Ryan Dieselman, and Eamon Langlois. Nice to see you three. Now, what are, you, what are your businesses here? Just tell me individually. Uh, well, I'm not working here, but uh, this is the RMHS Drama Club. Um, we put on shows at the high school every year. Um, yeah, uh, pretty much what Eamon said, but I'm handing out flyers, so. Good to hear. So here we're doing a bunch of different raffles, one of which includes going, you, get, you win the chance to go anywhere in the world for two nights and have dinner. So it is once in a lifetime opportunity, all expenses paid, trip anywhere you want. So That's amazing. There are several other raffles going on. So yeah. Now you can even go to like foreign lands like beyond normal area. Yep. Yes. Oh, wow. Anywhere in the world. Out of the country, That's... That's literally awesome. I, I really mean it. Yes. Um, well. And then you can also uh, sign up for caroling, which is, uh, I believe, $30 for 15 minutes where uh, someone will come to your house, or a group of people. Chorus. Yeah, the select chorus will come to your house and sing carols outside of your house around Christmas time. Okay. So I'd like to know if... Uh, what is the new play at the high school? Uh, currently, for the fall play, we have The Wedding Singer. So that's going on. And then after that, we have um, 1776 and the Twelve Dancing Princesses in the winter. And then there is The Taming of the Shrew in the spring. Can you tell me about The Wedding Singer? Wait, uh, I said that right. The Wedding Singer is about a guy who is in love with this girl, but then there's this other guy who is also in love with the girl. I don't really know the story too well. So high jinks ensues. Yeah, so. to say the least. That's nice. So it's a very fun show. Yeah, it's it's happening the November 11th to 13th. Okay. So and the 18th and the 20th. So you have plenty of opportunities to come see it. So it's going to be amazing and fun and yeah, very good show to come and see. Now let me ask you, um, where what is your f most favorite play out of? All the ones that you can remember. Um, I actually, um, I've been in a lot of shows. Um, this summer I did a really great one, uh, Elf the Musical. But um, 
In terms of the shows at the high school, um, I'm a fan of them all. Um, last year I really enjoyed Mar Mary Poppins, uh, and then Around the World was fabulous. The Nerd was also a great show. I wasn't in that, but it was a fabulous production. And uh, Edgar Allan Poe, another great show. Uh, everything they do there is just fabulous. So, yeah. Okay. Well, I look forward to the next few coming shows, and I hope to see you three again. Thank you. I'll Thank you see you all nice around. Day. Have a nice day. We're back here on the steps of Town Hall here. Um, it's just a beautiful day out here. I know we keep saying that, but you know, unless you're really out to appreciate it, you know, you really don't get the sense of what a great day it actually is. It really is. We lucked out with the weather here. Um, it, 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 I know it, it rained a little bit uh, earlier in the day, and uh, where I was coming from today, it, it was a torrential downpour yeah. uh, this morning. But, but um, overall, turned around, and you know, definitely didn't affect the mm -hmm. attendance at all. Yeah, we we definitely do need the rain, but you know, we hope that it can hold off so we can. Uh, do events like this, you know, make them a great day. So now we're going to go to some uh, man on the street interviews with our NVR most valuable reporter, George. So this is George Spiros reporting live from three of my friends. Hi. Name. Oh, um, I'm Kylie Brown. Megan Zercher. I'm Sarah. And I'm shaking from that workout only five minutes ago. So I'd like to know what exactly are you doing around here together? Um, just hanging out. Good to there. Good to hear. Um, now, what's your favorite part of it right now? Well, the Swedish fish are pretty great. <laughs> <laughs> that, that works. Yeah, it does. The fish that I paid for. Oh, <laughs> well, that's a good friend. That's a good friend. Now, I'd like to know, are you planning on doing any rides? Yes. Oh, we're going Jump to jumpy oh, houses. Definitely. Jumpy houses. Good to hear. Good to hear. Well. I'll leave you three alone. Thanks, guys. Thank you. See ya. Welcome back. So, like I said before, that is our most valuable reporter, George. And, you know, I want to make a correction. I know I said man out on the street, but uh, George here, he's only 12 years old. Can you believe that? He, he uh, has maturity beyond his years, right. but he wanted to make sure that we did get it right, that it is the kid on the street interviews, uh, right, yeah. not the man on the street interviews. I know. I mean, so, you yeah. know, he has skills beyond his years. You know, that's really Apologies, what they teach you here. Apologies, George. I know, uh, George. But George has been doing we a still great love job you. today. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he's definitely out there. And that, along with our other reporters as well, we can't forget about them. It, all around this effort to make this uh, kind of broadcast happen, a live broadcast, is there's a whole lot that right. goes into it. You know, it, it's so. just it's just not us up at the table. It's a whole whole lot of stuff going on behind the scenes as well. It takes a lot to put on a live broadcast, and RCTV has done it like they always do, top notch. Uh, and we hope that you watching at home are enjoying this coverage here today of the Reading Fall Street Fair. All right, so now we're going to get jacked up with George at Fitness Within. So I'm George Spiros here at Fitness Within with Mr. Dominic. Yes, sir. So tell me, Mr. Tell me, um, what do you really do here? Uh, we do personal training for uh, adults and kids. Good to hear. Now, what is this stand all about right here? We got a fitness challenge today. So we got a push-up challenge, a dip challenge, and a pull-up challenge. And a burpee challenge, your favorite. Uh, yeah, burpees. I always loved those when I was here, and I'm still there. That's right. And we are back. Sorry. We are back here. So that was George uh, doing a little fitness. You know, there's always room for fitness here, always. especially when you're walking from one end of the street fair to right. the other. Why not hit a few pull-ups or do a few sit-ups as you're into it as we well? We hope that uh, he would have gone there after he ate the pies to burn a few calories <laughs> off. He did it, kind of did it in the wrong order. <laughs> right, right, right. You know, but always really good things. You have a very big mix of things that you can see here at the Reading Falls Street Fair and experience. So uh, we hope that you have, uh, or that if you've seen it on this broadcast, that you are checking those things right. out as well. So for our next clip, we have Laura Davis over at Eric's Greenhouse. We're here with Rachel from the flower shop of Eric's. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Um, yeah, sure. Um, so Eric's Greenhouse used to be on Main Street in Reading, and um, about four years ago now, we... Um, the, the previous owner was selling the land and I had worked for him for a number of years in high school um, with my friend Antea who owns the signage store that's next door to us too that we're a part of. Um, 
So when we found out he was selling the land, I always wanted to open up a flower shop in my hometown. So I, I bought the name and the phone number and I moved it to Brandy Court, which is behind where the old Atlantic used to be, right behind us here. And we're in our fourth year and we're doing great. And I love being part of the community and getting to do the Fall Street Fair every year. It's a lot of fun. Great. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> Welcome back to the Steps of Town Hall. My name is Jake Berman alongside. Hi, I'm Katie Robertson. I'm back. Yeah. I went, did some interviews down on the street, so mm -hmm. that was great. And uh, saw a lot of people walking around. I actually yeah. just walked by the rock wall, which is in the back really? of CVS. And there must have been, he must have been six years old, and he was all the way at the top. It was really impressive. impressive. <laughs> did, did you dare, dare to do that? I did not. I, uh, I walked by it quickly, but was impressed by uh, his determination to reach the top. It's quite <laughs> high yeah, up there, actually. Exactly. It's, uh, it's all within. Yeah. So it's the spirit. <laughs> and that's another great thing. We have really spirited people out here today, mm -hmm. you know, showing off their businesses, trying to help out the community. And that's one thing that really makes this fall fair great and really be a success every year. Yes, absolutely. Um, and uh, it is a success today. It, it's gotten a little hot out now, but yeah. uh, it was, um, it's, it's definitely cleared up yeah. from the thunderstorms this morning and, uh, and people are really out in droves, which is right. great. I, I'm, I'm interested to see how many people they think they've gotten today because right. it looks like a lot on Haven Street. Especially. Do you know any numbers like from previous years? No, um, a lot. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I know it's been in the thousands for sure. Uh, they've had um, definitely in the thousands uh, yeah. of people here and uh, you can, you, it's kind of uh, lessened up here yeah. on Main Street, but on, on Haven Street, it's it's still really busy. Right. I think a lot of people were on Main Street for the pie eating contest, which mm. was, you know, a, yeah. a pinnacle of the event. Always. And uh, now they've moved on to Haven Street. So we have Laura Davis with another interview. I'm here with Dan Hardy from Covanta Energy. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Yes, Covanta Energy is that incinerator that gets all of your uh, trash, makes it into electricity up there in Haverhill, Massachusetts. We do that by contract with Reading. What we don't want is mercury products such as fluorescent bulbs in the trash. Simply take them down to the DPW. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So um, people are starting to clear out a little bit. It's getting towards the end, uh, but we still got plenty of stuff left to do. A yeah. lot of people still here. It's about another 45 minutes, I think, in the fair. So yeah. um, people are going to start uh, mm -hmm. getting their, their final shopping in yeah. and their final food consumption in and right. everything. So. Yeah, you know, one of my favorite things here at the Fall Fair is the Understanding Disabilities Jail and Bail. We have a clip from them right now. Hi, I'm here with Barry and he's going to tell us a little bit about Understanding Disabilities. Hi there. Well, I, I, I think you, you all know under, Understanding Disabilities is a great nonprofit organization in town and they put together curriculum for a lot of the students and just to help people understand about um, people with learning disabilities, physical disabilities, um, they've been doing great work in town and this is their way of kind of raising money to, uh, to bring awareness um, to what's going on. That's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, great. <laughs> now and not only was that the board of selectmen member barry berman but that is also my father as oh, well um yes. i can't necessarily say that's where i got my looks from oh, wink, wink. oh <laughs> rough <laughs> sorry that was dad rough. Still love you. <laughs> <laughs> but um they're over there at the understanding disabilities jail and bail and uh, they've really done a great job to raise money for this cause yeah and they've seen a lot of uh traffic today i know um i was i was speaking with uh, jim dwyer earlier and he was in there for a while yeah. so i've seen um the stickers. Uh, right. I don't think I'd seen stickers before, but mm -hmm. the stickers this year are great, and it's, I've seen a ton of people wearing them, so that's really good. <laughs> right. Um, so hopefully that they're getting uh, the financial support that they, mm -hmm. they really need out of this event, yeah, which is great. They do. So we have an interview right now with Ace Folds from Michael's Salon. Hi, we're here at the Reading Street Fair. We're at the J. Michael's Salon booth, and I'm here with... Marisa. Jess. Christina. Very nice to meet you, ladies. Um, when did your salon open? We opened late February this year. Okay. And you're located? We're 580 Main Street in the corner. Right up, right up above the right booth, above right? Yes. Yeah. And how have you, how have you found it so far? With it's been Reddit? great, yeah. great. Yeah, the community is great. Happy to be here. Do you have a specialty? Uh, any? Uh, you do all service, we all, do, all yep. men, women, children. We do everything. And. Hair, makeup. Uh, Hair, makeup, waxing, lashes, all that stuff. That's great. That's great to know. Well, so um, good luck today Thank at the you. fair. Thank How's you. it been so far? It's been awesome. Yeah, it's, really it's great. great. Yeah. 
We're right excited. Now. Thank you so much for letting us drop by and uh, have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So makeup and eyebrows and all that, <laughs> all that fancy stuff that I don't quite know a lot about. I mean, thank goodness we didn't have to put on any makeup today to yeah. be on air. Oh, well, yes. Um, but our, our roving reporters have really been out all day uh, talking to the community and, and right. getting into booths and talking to everyone. Uh, so that's great. And, um, and RCTV has mm -hmm. been uh, a presence at this fair yeah. for many years now. So yeah. that's really great. We love to bring it to the people, you know, not just watching at home, but, you know, we're also on YouTube as well. So this, will, this whole broadcast will be up just in case you missed it or got so nostalgic you want to see it again. <laughs> it's because it's such a great event every year. You know, I've been coming to this ever since it started. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I don't think it's 2009, but yeah, it's this been is, yeah, this is yeah. seven or eight years, I think, maybe more than that, actually. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, but uh, but yeah, it's been a great event, and RCTV has done uh, coverage of, of it for many years now. Um, this is my third uh, street fair, so mm -hmm. um, been doing it yeah. at least that long. <laughs> so we have we have an interview uh, featuring Ace Folds and the Lions Club. Hi, we're, we're here at the Reading Street Fair, and it just wouldn't be the Reading Street Fair unless we talked to the Reading Lions. Thank you very much. How's it going today? Pleasure. It's going good so far. Once the rain passed through, uh -huh. things started clearing up. Wasn't that a scare? The wind died down, so everything's good now. Yeah, the crowd's picking up quite a bit. So it looks like it's going to be a great day. What's on the menu today? We have a sausage with peppers and onions. We have hot dogs, and then we have our drinks. So we keep it simple. That's good. We know what we can do. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Well, thank you so much You're for welcome. letting us drop by and, well, visit thank, and thanks. enjoy the rest of the fair. Thanks a lot. All right. Bye-bye. We're back here. In case there are any sports fans watching right now, we have a Red Sox score update. It's oh, good. Currently, let, me, let me check my score right now. <laughs> it is currently 11-8 Red Sox. We're in the top of the eighth right now. Oh, wow. I know we've had uh, a home run, a three-run homer from Big Poppy mm -hmm. today. Yep, and, and they've, uh, uh, they've, yeah. they've been having a bit of a... Up and down. Yeah, little but, hopefully, bit, but hopefully it's only up now. We'll mm -hmm. take the division and yeah. Patriots open tonight as well. So we're looking forward to yeah. that. Yeah, it's gonna be a fun. It's gonna be a fun game for sure. Definitely, yeah. and an interesting season as well. You know, hopefully we're all hoping for the best here in New England, but we know we can make it through. Yes, that's true. Yes, in any, and we have perseverance for right. sure <laughs> and determination. Right. So, um, yeah, hopefully this game today uh, for the Sox will come through, and then the Patriots will yeah. come through as well later. Yeah. And we have George with the Garden Club. This is George Spiros reporting in uh, Reading Garden Club. Now, oh no, don't worry, don't worry. Now, I'd like to get your names. Ann Morris. Cal Moran. And... Jeanette. Oh, and Jeanette. Yes. Uh, it's nice to meet you all. Now, what exactly do you do at, in the Garden Club? Well, we actually do a lot for the community, like we go into the nursing homes and we do um, this event and we do the, the, the um, spring thing at, at the Lions Club down at the Birch Meadow and we do a lot of the islands in Reading and um, beautify them and the Parker the Tavern, Parker Tavern. Yeah. And what else? And the uh, town, hall. town Hall, the town hall all, the, the all those new gardens yeah. at the Town Hall, we planted those all and we maintain and we water them. Well, it's a working club, but it's fun. Well, I say they're very beautiful in my opinion, all of it. <laughs> Thank you. And what is this photo over here? These are cards that one of our members makes. And she, um, then we sell them at, the, at different events, and the proceeds go to the garden club. And today yeah. we're selling daffodils, uh, five bulbs? for three or six for ten. And then we're looking for new members. We have 54 members. We're very eclectic. Uh, if we go from in the 30s to the 90s year olds, but we're always looking for new members. Always able people, I bet. Yeah, always able people. Always. It's a working club, but it's a fun club. Yeah. I agree. I agree. We're back here, and that was George again. He's been doing everything for us today. And you know, <laughs> another thing that's really a staple of uh, the fall fair are all the live performances. You know, from music to gymnastics to dancing, and all all of the above. You know, really. Everyone has a chance to come out here and showcase their talent. Right there is Ken Polk from uh, Alpha Omega Music Studios in North Reading. He's on stage with some of his students right now. Um, you know, and 
it's always great to see the level of talent that the community has and, the, and then the willingness to share with us what they have. Yeah, and the, the crowd has really been into it today. You, you know, we've, we've shown people dan kids dancing and, mm -hmm. and really getting into it. So right. uh, that's and great. And right now we have a live look at the Woburn Street stage right now with some performers getting ready to play. And, you know, it, it's, it's always great to come out here and not only enjoy the booths and walking around too, but enjoying music, you know, having a chance to stop and, you know, enjoy the level of talent and, you know, hearing what everyone has to offer. And that's one of the things that makes this community great. We have so many talented individuals willing to share their talents with us. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, so I think we're going to listen in. Sports Spiros coming to you from Verizon, from the Verizon Wireless Stand in front of Town Hall up there. This is Tatiana. Tatiana. And I'd like to ask you a few questions. Now, I can see you're sponsoring Verizon. We are Verizon Wireless. Verizon Wireless. It's actually a privately owned um, store, so I'm the owner. So we okay. have a store in North uh, Reading uh, on Main Street. We are across from Walgreens and Firestone. Okay. We've been in business for five years, so um, yeah. Okay. Now tell me, do you enjoy the job? We love to do what I do. I uh, every day I talk to new people. I get to know a lot of new people daily. I love it, and that makes me pretty much happy to solve someone's problem or question. Um, they need to fix their email. Something breaks. The phone doesn't work. I enjoy and get satisfaction from solving the problem. Now I'd like to know what is your specialty. Specialty would be a wireless. So we work with businesses a lot. Say you have a business for like 15 employees, we can help you to set up the whole account, give you free phones so you don't have to spend. We understand your business is important to you, so we'll take over all your issues and problems with wireless and handle it for you. So come into our store, again, open account, we'll save you a lot of money on monthly bill as well. Okay. I appreciate the information. Back here at the, our, I know, Kevin and I were just dancing to the, to the background music. Um, <laughs> we're back at the 2016 RCTV coverage of the Fall Street Fair. Uh, it's September 11th down here. We've had, we've had a great day. Uh, it's been a lot going on. A beautiful commemoration <laughs> ceremony this morning. Yeah. Um, and then all of the activities that go with the fair, including the kids' activities, um, all of the free food and all of the samples. Uh, and the samples of the free food everything. and some of the swag I think we're going to have yep. in a few minutes here. And concerts, as you said, and yep. the pie-eating contest oh. that Ryan and Jake talk, talked about, and yep. George on and all that. And, and then, of course, the, uh, Jake just mentioned the dancing and the gymnastics and everything, Absolutely, which is and great. I love the fact that they're doing that to some of the music there, so they get a bigger crowd for yeah. it, instead of kind of off on their own. I yeah. think that's a wise way to do it. Yeah. And it looks like it's, you know, really been a good day for people all around. It's been a warm day. Uh, yeah, it has gotten hot, actually. We're, I'm pretty comfortable at the, where we are at Town Hall. Right. Um, yeah. Just, this is Main Street behind us, uh, so we're, we're facing Town Hall here. Um, um, and we're quite shaded, which is nice. Yes. But um, well, I'm in favor of the shade, as you know. Yeah, I do know. And sitting. And so. sitting. I'm in favor of sitting <laughs> in the shade, so this is the best place to be. In the whole, the whole um, place, yeah. But Haven Street has gotten a little warm, uh, yeah. especially with so many people turning out. It's been a really big crowd. It's so. always fascinating because obviously they plan this months and months and months in advance, and they don't know exactly what the weather's going to be like. Last year, remember, it was kind of cool and mm -hmm. kind of rainy a little bit for part of the day. And today we had some rain, but uh, it cleared out, and yep. it's been really a warm day. So. Yeah. So uh, we've got our, our in picture box here of the live concert at Woburn Street, which yep. is a really uh, great new feature for us. Being able to go to the concerts live has been a great uh, feature of today, I thought. Yeah, and I think some cover bands, and you yeah. had some bands doing this. This band is some original music, and, and you had some uh, earlier, like a, the uh, Reading Symphony doing a piece, and, yep. and uh, so lots of different uh, types of music today. Yeah, and we can actually hear it from here, yeah. which is nice, because at Haven Street, uh, when we were, it. yeah, we couldn't hear it. Yeah, we also have the bouncy houses behind yes. us. All the, <laughs> For the kids to play in the bouncy houses. I think that uh, should be our send off. We should. I, I think we should. I think, yeah. I, I think uh, you and I in the bouncy houses. Yes. Yeah, I think. Peace. Yeah, it and could we be. Just, like, jump out. Peace. Yes. <laughs> and we'll just, you know, Absolutely. go in the bouncy houses for that. But um, but I walked around a bit. I had some uh, some really great food, I have to say. I think the food here has been top notch this year. I know Ace and Alan earlier today to sampled some of the food. Yep, and, uh, and uh, Ryan and, and, Ryan and uh, Jake yep, also. Yeah, yep. yeah. So uh, the food sampling is always a key part of the, of the day in my Absolutely. opinion. Absolutely. What do you think your favorite <laughs> part of the fair is? Um, 
my favorite part of the fair this morning I said shopping. No, you did but, say that. Yeah. But that's okay because this afternoon I I just told Jake I was I was going behind the CVS parking lot and there's a giant rock wall in the CVS parking oh, lot which okay. I did not know was going right. to be there. A rock climbing wall. Yes, yeah. and when oh. I got there there was like a 6-year-old all the way at the top of the rock wall. It okay. was very impre he was the only one on the rock wall, but he had gotten all the way to the top. So I was like wow. that might be my favorite thing today. That right. kid was like I'm going to get to the top and he did. Yeah, I mean I would have said probably the music, but now I got to think honestly the pie eating contest is probably <laughs> my favorite thing. I thought it was you know just really funny and, and a lot yeah. of fun to watch. Yeah. So, yeah. so we're going to go to a segment now. Uh, which I'm pretty excited about. Uh, it's George, our, our roving reporter extraordinaire, who is also a feature of the pie eating contest at the Bounty House doing karate. Okay. Can't wait. This is George Spiros coming from all these bouncy houses near Town Hall. Um, this is Nicholas Marajanis. And? Dimitri Marajanis. Can you say that again? Dimitri Marajanis. Okay. Good to, good to see you too. Now, are you related in any way? Yeah, we're brothers. Okay. Okay. Um, so, tell me, what are what is your favorite bouncy house or bouncy activity? Well, I haven't done one yet, but I think it's going to be the baseball. Cool. Good to hear. How about you? Have you gone on any? No, I haven't. We just came here. Okay. Good to hear. Well, hmm. What's your most favorite part of the entire fair? I would think the games. Um, yeah, same. Man, you two are so close, or act, think so much in the same way. Now, I do have some background knowledge of you two, because I do know you, but I don't know for sure. Are you twins? Yeah, we're twins. Okay, yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, my dad told me a few times. So, well, it's good to get some information. Okay, well, I'll see you later. Thanks, George. Have a nice day. Bye. Well, I was very excited when I found out that I was going to be closing the show with you, Kevin, because okay. the end of the show is the swag. Hey, the swag segment. Yes. That's right. We love the so swag segment. We had uh, some of our lovely RCTV volunteers wandering around today, getting as much free stuff as they could so because that we could show it off. We are all about the free stuff Absolutely. here at RCTV. Yeah. So I've got this, uh, this oh, yeah. good frisbee which folds into, into uh, its magic. It's actual magic. Oh, geez. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was a really lucky shot. <laughs> uh, we have pencils. No, we have pencils from Learn to Learn Skate. To skate. These, uh, these water bottles Reading, are really Reading good, Reading Orthodontics uh, yeah. cups here. I don't know who they are, but they have good oh. cups. Oh, and the, they've got the little stopper in we, them. We so talked you... earlier, way back in the beginning, about you can never have enough water bottles. Yes. We've got the Reading Education Foundation water bottles. Look at that. And today is uh, September 11th, yes. the 15th anniversary, and we have American flags from the Premier Realty Group. Very nice, yes. Uh, yeah. Good Woo! stuff. Oh, oh, there we go. That frisbee um, is a surprise. We have, we have uh, uh, this, I think this is mints from the ALS uh, Friends and Family Collaborative Cause, ALS Knights. So, yeah. And yeah we go. Oh, all right. In honor of the Patriots. So, here we go. Patriots and uh, Plymouth Rock Auto Insurance Patriots football. Yes. All right. That's there we go. That's pretty good. That I might like win that. for swag of the day. I met it up. Right <laughs> we, have, uh, we have bubbles coming in from the left. <laughs> All right, we have bubbles, fun bubbles. Do we know who the fun bubbles are from? Don't care. Good stuff. Uh, it says, uh, Phil says throw it at the camera. So. Oh, throw it at the camera. All right, well, yeah, you do it because I'm probably like it. Uh, yeah, okay. see, I'm, I can't. I, I, I should have done that. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got uh, uh, Winchester Hospital sunscreen. That's, oh, well, Very that would have been helpful. Very important at the, at the, at the, at the street uh, fair. Yeah, that would have been helpful earlier okay. in the day. Okay, hey, oh, there we go. Toothbrushes. Toothbrushes from uh, Raven's Family Dental. Oh, man. All right, this, this is, is good stuff. This is this a great is, day. I got a sticker here also from ALS1 also. A nice bumper sticker there. A bumper there. sticker. You put that on your car and support yeah. oh, the people Oh, and we have this ALS. hat. Oh, yeah, Cassidy, Cassidy Landscaping. Cassidy Landscaping. Yeah, they gave us a card also, yeah. Cassidy Landscaping. We'll get a, a Katie as the hat. It's uh, kind of difficult to get on, actually. So. Okay. Well, so and I have really the headset the on. All right. Um, and what else do we have? So it, it's really been a oh, oh, okay. hand sanitizer. Oh, hand sanitizer. All right, from from Leahy Health. There we go. We have a, uh, oh, we oh, have tape, a measure. tape measure. A tape measure. Yeah, so. Who's that from? Uh, this is Cassidy Landscaping wow, as well. Yeah, very, so. very, 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 oh, oh, hey. Oh, beach ball. Beach ball from, uh, from uh, WROR. WROR. All right. Yeah. Uh, can you, uh, let's see, can you oh, blow you it out there? I, I don't do no. that. No. Yeah. You, can, you can blow it out. <laughs> uh, so that's, a, that's okay. a lot of swag that yeah. we picked up today. Lots of good stuff. I see a bag there, too, from yeah. Gilbert, Gilbert Insurance. Insurance. We're not going to. Gilbert Insurance, yeah. That, that held all of the Oh, yeah, yeah, and there's something else in here. 
What is oh, it? This oh, is more sunscreen. Uh, more sunscreen. More sunscreen. sunscreen. And we have uh, uh, eating healthy and me uh, from Alihi Health. There okay. We go. Eating healthy and me. It, you know, I, it's it, you know we we joke about it, but it actually is a good way for the organizations to kind of get their name out there. And, yeah. And you get home with a bag full of yes. stuff, and you go, oh, I remember Cassidy Landscaping. Yeah. I remember well, the, and okay, the so out place. of this out of this group, I would say my favorite thing is the frisbee. I oh think yeah, the frisbee oh yeah, the, the frisbee. Best. I lost mine. I threw mine at the yeah, camera. Yeah. Well, and this water bottle is pretty water, good. Yeah, the water bottles are pretty good. Yeah. So Redding, Redding Orthodontics. Yeah, that's that's good. I and mean, of course, we always have the American flag. Yes. You know, very nice. Very respectfully. Uh, so so we're gonna take a break. Maybe clean up our desk. Maybe not. Probably not. And uh, <laughs> look at George doing karate. All right. Your host, host, George Spiros. I am terrible at this. Um, and this is... Todd Keene from the Academy of Traditional Karate. Thank you. So I'd like to know, what are you really doing right now? Okay. So we're doing some trial lessons, let people try a little bit of karate. So they can come over and do a few basic techniques. And then after that, they can try to break a board. And then we get a, a special where they can come in and try classes after that. Okay. Now, how much, now does this cost money to quickly do? Um, not to try it, no. Um, if they decide they're going to do it, we had a special for the, uh, just for the, the this particular um, fair. Okay. So, would that be okay if I were to try? Absolutely. You want to come on? Okay. Want me to hold that for you? Uh, okay. I actually, um, you know, I think I'll have my cameraman hold it if that's okay. okay. Or... You can be famous. reporters Laura and Ace Fold uh, so everyone's been yeah. doing a really great job. I'm just job. thankful he didn't break his hand on whatever that was he yes. chopped in half. There. Yes yeah. let's all be happy about let's that. Let's all be happy about uh, that. We're yeah. going to roll from one George clip to the next right. and uh, see him at the dunk tank. Oh is he going in the dunk tank? I will have to wait and we'll find have to out. Wait and find out. All right. I'm your host George Spiros at the dunk tank. Um so this is. I'm TJ. Jeez you have some, you look very cold to me. I'm fine. It's for a good cause. Oh, well, heard last year's somebody with different feelings. <laughs> well, so how did you get into this mess? Um, I'm on the board in the Interact Club at Reading High. Nice to hear. So I'm going to let this guy quickly, quickly take a throw. Here we go. Um, oh, well, okay then. He's done. Um. So, how long have you been doing this for? Uh, this is my second year. Okay. Oh, thank God. <laughs> You're just not. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's, it, that's always been a staple of the fair. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, everyone loves a good dunk tank, especially you get that person who's dry that first time yes. and, and they get knocked in and they're not prepared for it. And usually you pour ice or something in there so it's nice and cold, <laughs> you know, and all that, kind of like the ice challenge, ice yeah. bucket challenge. Yeah, ice, yeah okay. Uh, George didn't seem prepared <laughs> No, either. no, he was not prepared at all. <laughs> Absolutely not. But he protected the equipment. That's, <laughs> yes, that's, that's the important, the important thing. thing, yes. Yeah. Uh, so it's been a great day at the fair here. Um, we're, we're about ready to wrap up. It's almost mm. 5 o'clock, I wow. think. Uh, Unbelievable. So, yes, it's flown by this Been on year. the air for four hours yes. today, live television. It's been yep. great. And this is your one of your final... This is probably my final, final one of my street final fair. things with, uh, with yeah. the RCTV, final street fair. Well, you might be back for the election, Possibly correct? back for the okay. election. So we might see you then. But I think just talking about RCTV, I know a couple of them talked about it earlier. We had a couple people on. Bruce was on. Ryan was on talking about their own shows. But, you know, the great thing about RCTV is if you have an idea for a show or you're passionate about something you want to talk about, you can make a show about it. Yeah. You know, and, and RCTV will teach you how to do that. You don't have to come in knowing how to do it. You know, I like to talk about sports, so I do a sports show. We have uh, Bruce was on earlier talking about a nutrition show that he does. Uh, Ryan likes to talk about music. He, he, he does a music show. You know, we have people that like movies. They do a show about movies. We yep. have Nan, who's been around here today. She likes to read to her grandchildren. So she does a show where she reads to her grandchildren. And whatever, whatever you like. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if you like candy, do a show about candy. You know, you like, <laughs> you like needlepoint, do a show yeah. about needlepoint. You know, we used to have someone that did a show about uh, politics because that's what they were interested in. Do a show about politics. 
really RCTV is there to help you get your message out of, and do something with, with, with what it is you like to do. Yeah. And, so that's and, really share, and share your passion with the rest of the community. And share your passion with the rest of the community, absolutely. And so uh, uh, it's, it's, been, it's been a great hobby and hopefully will continue to be but uh, yeah. for me. But uh, but I totally enjoyed it. It's 17 yeah. years with uh, RCTV. Well, it's been great working with you from my perspective. Oh, thank you. Uh, I know that you've that. taught me from... <sighs> From the, my first live show to, <laughs> which was much different. Which was much different. <laughs> um, so I really appreciate it. You really uh, taking me under your wing and, oh, and well, showing me how to do been, the ropes. It's, yeah. been, it's been fun. It's, yeah. it's, it's a good thing to do. Yeah. And, uh, so we've got another uh, interview with George that we're going to check out right now. On. Uh, this is George Spiros coming at you from Huang Kitchen. Um, this is. My name is Sarah Huang. And. I'd like to know, how long have you been working here? Uh, we've been in Reading it's about 14 months ago. Good to hear. Now, how long have you had your business? Uh, 14 months. So you started when you came here? Yeah, uh-huh. Okay, okay. Looks nice. Um, can I um, sample any of it? Okay. Thank you so much. Hi, how are you? I like it. It's good? Yeah, that's uh, the favorite. I like it. I agree. Yeah. I find the sauce chickens to be really good. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, I hope your business flourishes throughout the, throughout the months to years. Thank you. Have a good have a good day. So that was a, a great interview with George having yeah. some chicken. So uh, we like chicken. Seem to enjoy it. Yes. Yeah, all about the free food. Samples. Yes, of course. Yeah. Uh, so we're back here with uh, RCTV's coverage of the 2016 Fall Street Fair. Uh, it's September 11th. They've had a great commemoration this morning, mm. and uh, um, you know it's been a it's re been a really great day. I think. Yeah. I think it's really appropriate that they did the commemoration this morning too. That being the 15th anniversary mm. of. Uh, of, uh, of, of September 11th and the attacks on September 11th. We're here to have fun, we're here to have a party. Let's take 20 minutes and just remember and focus on what happened 15 years ago and how it affected our country, affected the lives of people in the area mm -hmm. and lives of people all around the country. But you know, considering the planes flew out of Boston, there are people from this area who were, who were affected directly. And, yeah. and so I think it was appropriate for them to do that this morning. I thought it was well done. And, and then let's get on with the party, because that's, that's yeah. what we want to do, yeah. move on with uh, our And lives. we had uh, Jim Dwyer and Jason yep. Lewis and some other uh, notable uh, community members in talking about the commemoration. Right. And they were all very impressed with it. Sure. Uh, and um, you know, going forward with their work, so uh, it's it's nice to have it in the uh, it, as you say at the beginning of the day. Yeah, and, yeah. and yeah. I think you know, Jason Lewis, uh, Senator Lewis, said that we were one of the only communities that actually did something for September 11th this morning. Yeah. Uh, so uh, you know, I feel good about that. I feel as though it's appropriate for Reading to have done it, and I'm glad to be part of a community that you know remembers what happened yeah. at that time and really highlights it as an important part of the day. Yeah. You know, absolutely, so. absolutely. Um, so yeah, that that was this morning, uh, right around 11:30, and then mm -hmm. the fair started at noon. Yeah. Um, we're about to wrap up. Uh, at five o'clock, I believe yep, is when the yep, fair yeah, the ends. Fair usually, closes so. down at five o'clock. Usually, begins to kind of slow down now a little bit, but yeah. it'll be completely over around five o'clock, and so. Uh, um, and then we'll be closing down too at that time as well. Yeah. Yeah. So we're actually going to take a look at those 9/11 uh, commemorative highlights okay. uh, right now. So let's take a look. And even celebrating with us um, and remembering the events of September 11th. Good morning. Will you pray with me? Holy God of all the nations, we give you thanks this day for the opportunity to be in your presence, to show the community and to show the world what our hearts are made of. What seems to be 15 long years ago, our country changed, 
by one of the darkest moments in our nation's history. We were faced with tragedy, uncertainty, questions about who and why this would happen. People across the world wondered how Americans would respond. I will never forget the true American spirit I witnessed at Ground Zero and in the weeks following. Reading firefighters attended many funerals in the aftermath of the attacks to honor our 343 fallen brothers and their families, as did fire and police departments across our great country. It was just a really beautiful ceremony this morning. It really was, you know, and, and uh, it was pointed out to us that Captain Dwyer of the fire department who was speaking there at the end, I actually served down at, uh, at Ground Zero yes. uh, in the days following and weeks following uh, the uh, attacks. And so he has that personal viewpoint that he shared, and, and it was really uh, a powerful ceremony this morning. Yes, and uh, our uh, police and fire are here today uh, yes. to patrol the fair. But yes, they are. Also, uh, the fire department has a touch-a-truck uh, program for love the kids going trucks. on. Love who doesn't love fire a fire trucks. truck? Everybody oh. loves a fire truck. So many little boys and girls down right. there today uh, teching out the uh, the trucks and what they have in the trucks. Yeah. And I saw a little kid putting a mask on and everything. Of course, it completely swallowed his face. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> but that's what they're there for. Right. I know one of the things they do is they go around to the schools also, too. And, and one of the things, they don't want little kids to be afraid if they're in a fire and they see a fireman coming in the whole mask and everything. So they actually dress up in it to show them what it looks like. Yeah. They were doing that today also. Yeah. So. Which is, it's, it's a consideration. I mean, yeah, I think if I was in a uh, fire and I sure. thought, you know, yeah, it would be a little off -putting. It doesn't look like a person. It looks no, more like Darth no. Vader or something <laughs> yeah. like that. In yellow. In yellow. <laughs> yellow Vader. Yellow Vader. <laughs> <laughs> With the mask and everything. Right. Yeah, so that's a... And that's, the breathing. Yeah. <laughs> So not only is it a great event uh, for safety, but it's also a great event for fun because okay, yeah. they get to touch all the buttons. And, yeah, no, that's cool. You know, that's cool. Uh, they have the police. And, and who fire knows? Up. Maybe some of those kids will, you know, end up being firefighters yeah, someday. Yeah, absolutely. And get, you know, that yeah. kind of inspires them. Yeah. Yeah. And the then police cars, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, Hopefully, they well. don't end up in the back of the police car. Right. Well, in the maybe front was maybe okay. maybe as a as a as a standby. As a standby. You just check yeah. it out once, and then that's okay. it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, it's a great day at the fair. Um, the touch a truck program. They've got uh, bouncy houses. They've got obstacle courses. There was a little train that went around the oh, CVS I like parking trains. lot. Love trains. So uh, and of plenty. You, you mentioned the uh, climbing wall. Yes, and the rock climbing wall. Uh, so plenty for kids and uh, plenty of shopping for adults, which I'm a, I'm Big a fan, fan of. of yeah. yeah. Um, there and swag. Is, and swag. <laughs> Who, I mean, as we, uh, you and I, love We're the swag. All about the swag. <laughs> all about the swag. Uh, so we've got a, a lot going on today, and uh, it's. Um, it's a really great day. I was. Uh, I, th I think we were all a little nervous with the weather, and we've yeah. talked about it a lot today. But um, yeah. it really it worked out. And especially planning for the shoot over the coming week. You know, the the weather forecasts varied. Some of the forecasts are saying maybe you know thunderstorms you know, all the way up until 2 or 3 o'clock, and we're wondering, are we going to be able to go on the air? Because obviously we have lots of electronic equipment that yes. can't get wet. And so we were kind of worried about that, but the weather turned out great. Yeah. So we have a clip now uh, about the Congo Church, so let's take a look. I'm George Spiros. At the Reading, at the Reading Cares, um, Reading Cares, Reading, oh, Reading. It's a combo booth. Oh, okay, okay. It's actually three organizations: Habitat for Humanity, the Congregational Church, First Congregational Church of Reading (UCC), and Reading Cares. Okay. Now, what do you do at these three stations, or just one of them? Um, it's the church and two of the organizations that we work with, that we partner with. Um, Reading Cares coordinates volunteers through the, throughout the Reading community, um, helps people find a place to, to help out, and Habitat builds houses um, okay. all over the world. Good so to hear. We're, we're happy to be here at the fair today. It's good to hear that. Good to hear that. Now, what do you, what do you, speci what do you specifically um, work on yourself? Or do you I'm work on all the past. I'm the pastor of the church. Oh, yes. Yes. Of course, I forgot. So, yeah, no problem. And so I'm promoting the church fair that's coming up on the 30th of September and the 1st of October. Okay. But I'm also inviting people to come to church if they're looking for a church community. So okay. that's what I do. Good to hear. Yeah. And uh, um, we hope that, that folks will remember that we have this great family fair. And we hope that people know that lots of work is going on in the community with all the churches to reach out and help people here in Reading and beyond. Okay. Well, I'm glad to hear that. And I hope to meet you again. 
On my paper route. I'll see you then. <laughs> Take care. See you around. I'll watch this RCTV. His mom does watch RCTV. My mom is watching. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. So do you want to tell us about what went into today? Because we have a lot of people and a lot of things. Yeah. Uh, we've had uh, about 35 different volunteers helping us out throughout the day. And I'm Mike 3, guys, by the way. Can't hear myself. <laughs> um, so it's it's been a really great day. We've had camera operators, uh, interviewers in the field. Um, we had a whole logistics crew setting up the stage so that I'm actually I'm a little nervous of being about up here. I don't want we Maui were going to get. Oh, yeah, that's Maui right. Kevin wanted uh, rolly chairs because they were comfortable oh, better yeah, than these, these folding chairs. But, you know, for your safety, <laughs> I didn't want you to roll off. So, wait, for our safety, you didn't come on the stage until four and a half hours in, just to make sure? <laughs> yeah, well, that, and I didn't want you to roll off the stage. So <laughs> That would have been some good television. Yeah. That would have been some good television. But we've yeah, had a lot yeah. of great volunteers. I want to thank you both for, for uh, starting our program and, and, and wrapping it up here at the end of the day. We might have one more video clip. There might be some clips that we haven't aired yet that we will get to the replay. I know right. that our we have an entire Woburn Street stage crew that has been recording all day, so we will and air those. And one of the cool features is that's been live, too, I yes. mean, here. Yes, yep. So, like, we, we went to the pocketing contest live. Um, we will um, uh, have all those performances in their entirety online uh, and on the channel uh, in the future. So not only the work that happens today, but uh, how much time was spent planning and getting prepared for this event by staff and other volunteers? A lot, a lot. Probably we needed to do more. We had some audio, uh, those of you who have been watching all day, noticed that we had some audio troubles right. uh, when we went on the air at 1 o'clock. Um, but we hopefully fixed those. Or, well, I know they're working. My mom said that she and George George seg segment. So, <laughs> right. um, so I, kn I know that at least my mom's watching and my sister's <laughs> watching out there. So, um, so yeah, I mean, it, it takes a lot of work to, to put this all together and, you know, get everything here. We got... Uh, we started coming over at about 8 this morning, and, you know, uh, after we got the stage up and the desk up, it started pouring, and then we knew that was going to happen, because it rained last year, and we just prepared for it, right. so we had nice big tents, and we, you know, we protect the equipment, and then uh, once the sun came well, out. I know, I know time was spent earlier this week sorting the equipment and making yep. sure you have all the right wires to go to the right places. We, we almost everything. had 100% percent ready you know there were a few things that we forgot you yeah. know we, there's, uh, I think we forgot to bring camera batteries you know what <laughs> are you gonna <laughs> do like, uh, oh yeah we need to bring camera batteries so <laughs> yeah um and uh you know i think that that, that all the different hosts that have been cycling cycling through today they're of all uh other, you know rctv members who have their programs uh you know uh, with starting with you guys and, and ending with you guys you know jake berman and uh ryan panette and bruce cooper, bruce cooper and, the and, and the folds family um and did i forget anybody I think uh, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's yeah. probably someone. But, we've had, but then we've had people in the field. Uh, yes. Laura yep. and George. Laura, Laura Davis and George Spiros and, and the Pied, you know, but like all the volunteers who are in the control booth, Trevor's been directing since we went on the air uh, at one o'clock. And yeah, we'd like to point Mateo out that, that Trevor is is a high school student. Yes. Who's been yes. directing today? Yep. Yeah. Well, actually, a is Trevor? Yeah, he, Trevor's a freshman. Yeah, yeah. Trevor's a freshman. This year. Yeah. I lose track. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then, you know, just like I'm, I probably shouldn't have started naming people because no, I'm forgetting. No, Sorry, guys. That was a mistake. Absolutely. Ryan's, Ryan's actually running camera my camera. Yes. Hey. <laughs> Everyone's doing several jobs today. Yeah, lots yeah, of jobs sure. going on today. Yeah. So yeah, it's just uh, you know I want to thank everyone for watching and helping out. And there are some clips that we haven't got to that, like I said, we will we will get them on the air. Right. So. And th you know, this is kind of the beginning of a of a, of a, of a big weekend also mm -hmm. because there's something. To Town meeting tomorrow night. Yes, we yeah, to. we do have town meeting tomorrow night. Town meeting will be live, and the the discussion of the uh, yeah. uh, circuit breaker uh, will be on there. And then uh, town meeting will actually adjourn, and the board of selectmen will call to order after uh, the, the uh, town meeting for discussion on the override. So I think sometimes people don't realize how how much goes into even putting that. Yeah. On, even though we've done it a number of times. This will be kind of crazy. You know, the, I think the craziest day was actually before RCTV existed officially. Yeah. Was during the 350th where we covered a five camera graduation in the morning and then <laughs> covered the opening ceremonies in the, uh, afternoon. In, the, in the afternoon live from, from the, the Old South Church. And that was in 1994. Yeah. So, um that was nuts, and the equipment was a lot heavier then. Right, and older so, and, yeah. Yeah, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. 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 So it's really amazing so what someone's we here do. to see me. So we have a, an exciting live on camera. I'm very excited about this. Uh, exciting moment for you here. Phil is Who's actually going to get a flu shot on air. air. On air. On air. Yep. Who's right giving now. the? You come on over. Yes, come, come on, on over. over. Hello, so I'm what? wonderful. How are you? Uh, what's your name? It's Elise. 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 Come over here and talk by my mic. Thank so you for so doing Elise this on the is air. The town's nurse advocate, <coughs> and they have been running a tent for uh, people getting fl uh, free. I think free yes. flu shots today. Pretty much, yeah. pretty much free. I don't know what that means, but okay. Pretty much. Wait, free. pretty much. Do I have to pay? <laughs> What's your insurance? Uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield. <laughs> okay. 
RCTV has insurance. RCTV has insurance, so that's good to know. <laughs> so, uh, you know, uh, I've been producing backstage all day, you know, uh, signing people for segments and putting right. them on the air. And when uh, Nancy said, hey, we've got... Uh, um, you know, we've, we've got flu strots. Are you interested in one? I said, only if I can have it on the air. Yeah, absolutely. And Good so, answer. thank you. <laughs> we've, had, we've had a lot of uh, really exciting on-air moments today. Yes. Yeah, we have. We have uh, this will not be as exciting as the pie eating contest. I don't unless know. I cry. Unless, unless you, you cry. cry which yeah. which we're possible. kind of hoping for. Kind of hoping yeah, for. Well, I know you are. <laughs> <laughs> I got 10 bucks riding on yeah. that. So. <laughs> 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 it's a good thing today's your last day. <laughs> uh, so what do we need to do? So, yeah, tell us what's going on here. So, have you ever had the flu strot before? I have not. I am not. I'm not allergic to eggs, in case you can't hear. <laughs> I'm not allergic to anything. So you've never had the blue shot before? I've never. So you're going to feel a little pinch in your arm. It goes into your muscles, so you might have okay. a you might have a sore Can you guys hear her? Just give me a thumbs up if you yeah, can hear. Yeah, they're good. They're okay, good. good. So you might have a little bit of a sore arm. Okay. This is exciting. I have an information sheet for you, so if you have any questions or concerns. So why should people get the flu shot? It prevents you from getting sick with the flu, and it also prevents you from spreading the flu. Excellent. So important. It is important, we're and especially uh, in favor of that second part. Yeah, we're we're small, we're we small don't really location, care and people get the flu, but we don't want them to spread. When, yeah. when someone gets sick at work, everyone gets sick. So <laughs> that, this or is going to stop family. me from in getting that. Family, yep. family, like yeah. Wildfire. Yeah. Yep. Are we ready to go? I'm ready. Go. What do I do? This is good I stuff. Oh, up. paperwork. Are you feeling all right today? No I am no feeling fever. great. No fever. This is exciting television. <laughs> this is good no television. allergies to eggs. Nope. Thermosol, neomycin, polymycin, Nope. No allergies. Nope. Good. No allergies. Have you ever had a single? You've never had the flu shot? Nope. Have you ever had Guillain-Barre syndrome? Nope. Never even heard of that. <laughs> That's probably good. <laughs> I suppose if you've had it, you would have heard That's of it. That's probably right? good, yeah. Are you a righty or a lefty? I'm a lefty. So, oh, you're a southpaw, huh? I'm going to give it to you in your right arm because it's a little sore. Okay, so camera operators, get ready. It's going on this side. <laughs> Will this keep me from um, recording town meeting tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> what is the correct answer? <laughs> Can I make Kevin work one more day? <laughs> 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 All right, so, like I said, it's going to be a quick pinch. You might feel a little sore tomorrow or later today. Okay. See, I'm not going to have to clean up. You guys all have to wrap all the wires. We had swag sanitizer. Yeah, we yes. Had swag out. sanitizer to use that. So uh, the flu clinic has been going on all day today, which is a great service yes. to the town. Do you have a guesstimate as to how many uh, people you serve today? Over 100, I think. Over 100? Over 100. Wow. Probably close to 120. 120, okay. And uh, on the left? Yeah, we're going in your right. All right. Um, so if... People didn't get to be here today for the flu shot, and they want to get one. Where do they go? Relax, sure. I'm loosey goosey. Okay. Relax. Yep. Oh, geez. <laughs> oh, I love that the Just bells are ringing. Them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but it's like D Day. <laughs> the um, if there are there, there are other opportunities uh, in the fall for to take the flu shot, right? Yes, absolutely. Okay. We're, we're live, so. Yeah, yeah. And you're done. All right. Surprise. That wasn't bad. Excellent. Good job, Phil. Good job. Would you like a band aid? Are you a bleeder? No, no, no. I hope not. Well, are you, are if I'm bleeding, I won't have to wrap cables. <laughs> so. Are you crying, though? That's no. what I want to know. I don't know. There was a wince no. there. There was definitely there a yeah. wince. Oh, there was, there was a significant wince. wince. <laughs> a significant wince. <laughs> it was acting. <laughs> Angela Merrill has taught me <laughs> well on my acting. Yeah. <laughs> it's acting when you sure. want it to be, I think. Right. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to go fill this can this uh, this out off camera. Yeah. Guys, do we have a clip that we can go do? We do. We're going to go check okay. out Sports Zone. Okay. So I'm going to fill this off and get off stage. And I want to thank everyone for watching and thank Kevin for his service here at RCTV. We are we're going to miss you. Thank you. Come back for the election. Hi, I'm Katie election. Robertson. Okay. I'm here with Nick Face. Hi, Nick. How's it going? Good. How are you? I'm great. Uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about Sports Zone? So Sports Zone has been a program that we started 2009 here in Reading. This is actually our first year down here for the street fair. But we work with the schools. We do birthday parties. We do special events for the kids in town and other communities. Um, they get to choose any game they want to play. It's an educational program through sports. So basically, we make learning fun with sports. That's great. Uh, so what do you have here today at the fair? So what we're doing is we're promoting a couple different classes that we have going on. One of them is a fantasy class we're doing so kids can make their own teams. Another thing we're doing is showcasing the programs that start first week in October with the Reading Schools. So parents
parents getting a little familiar about that. And uh, birthday parties, we've been market, uh, promoting those and making sure that people know how to sign up and to book their parties. So what do you do for birthday parties? So birthday parties are one of the more popular things that kids do. Uh, they get to choose any game they want to play with all their buddies. They get to get uh, packs of sports cards, which are our learning devices. Um, they get to, we get to choose um, any kind of games, like I said, they get to do. Um, different facilities, you can do indoor and outdoor, um, lots of fun. That's great. Uh, so what's your personal take on the Red Sox this year? Uh, the roller coaster continues. <laughs> yes, it does. Um, I know their uh, current well, score is 10 to 8. When I did, was down the show with Kevin Vent on Big Pitcher, yeah. I predicted that the Red Sox will actually finish in third place and may not make the playoffs. I don't want that to happen. I want them to make it, but it's uh, fasten your seatbelt time for the month of September. So when I was there, I think I was on Big Picture a week and a half ago now, and I said they would play the wild card game. I don't. I think I, they are going to be a wild card team. Yeah, I don't see them winning the division, but I but think I they could be in the wild card. I will tell you that Toronto, from what they're doing this weekend, is showing me that the Red Sox really can beat them, and that's yeah. the team that I was most concerned with. So if I'm going to make a bold prediction. Maybe the Red Sox will be the American League East champs. It would be it would be a great great end to a pretty tumultuous we, season. We need a we, we need a winning uh, we need a winning season. Yeah, and yeah. We haven't really won anything since 2013. It didn't feel like it was really going to happen. Mm -hmm. So kind of getting into the playoffs is definitely goal number one. And seeing if they can win the whole thing would be the biggest goal of all. And it'd be great to see Poppy uh, go out on a bank. They have to do that for Poppy. <laughs> There's no question about it. They yeah. have to do it. Okay, so how can people find out about Sports Zone? So by, for Sports Zone, you can go to our website, which is sportszone101.com. You can check us out on Facebook. We're there too. Um, and I'm sure many people know who I am. You can just find me down the streets and just yell at me and say, <laughs> I'm booking my party what right now. Doing? So there's a lot of different ways you can get in touch. Uh, we'll try our best to get back as fast as we can. Um, but anytime you want to message us, by all means, you can do. All right, and we're back at the Reading Falls Street Fair. We have all of our uh, oh, RCTV people, yeah. uh, people here. Uh, just a portion of yes. the crew that worked on this today. Yes, uh, down at the studio uh, on Woburn Street, we have Rob Moore, Rob John Moore. Carpenter, John Surratt. Uh, uh, Paul, Paul Sylvester, Sylvester was here earlier. Bruce yep. Cooper's been down there yep. today. Uh, Steve Kirk's been down there. Yep. Um, a couple others, John Surrett, you mentioned. Yep, yeah, and so. then we have all of our, our shining faces here yeah. uh, at RCTV. So uh, we've got editors and, uh, and tech people, tech people and, and audio everything. people and camera yep, operators. Yeah, and Weston and, and Levi and everything. Yeah, so, yeah, some of our uh, hosts. Mateo's not here either, so Mateo's been around and yeah. Hayden. Uh, so it's been a really big crew today. We've had a, a great job uh, by everyone. So well done, everyone. Uh, and uh, we're going to wrap up the 2016 RCTV coverage of the Fall Street Fair. I'm Katie Robertson. I'm Kevin Vent. Have a great afternoon. Thank you.